If you're looking for the best sports memorabilia and card break room on the internet, you've come to the right place. Welcome to Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room. Tonight's action will move fast, so we want to prep you for what you're about to see on your screen. First, the all-important dice roll number. At the top of the show, the host will randomize a series of numbers. The number selected from the randomizer will become the dice roll number for the entire show. Meaning every mystery box that is broken, the names of every collector will be placed on a list and randomized using the dice roll number for the show. Next, you see this black ticker down here? This shows you which numbers are still available in each and every Ultimate Autographs mystery box series. When a break fills or sells out, the host will ask for a number. This is where you make your selection from. Simply type a number in the chat and the host will pick the first number they see. Throughout the show, you may see two different types of breaks, divisional and top spot. Divisional breaks are most common. In this format, all eight individuals who enter a football theme break will be positioned next to one of eight football divisions after their names are randomized using the show's dice roll number. When the mystery box is opened, the football division of the team represented in that mystery box becomes the winning division. The lucky collector whose name is randomly placed next to that football division takes home the signed piece of authenticated memorabilia. Our top spot format is typically reserved for giveaways, college theme series, and non-football breaks. In a top spot break, all names are added to a list. They are randomized using the show's dice roll number. At the end of the randomization, the name at the top becomes the winner of the signed item or prize. Breaking sports memorabilia has never been easier or more fun than it is in Ultimate Autograph's live break room. Remember, Every mystery box series you see on the show can also be purchased as a personal mystery box that is either shipped directly to your home for you to open, or you can request to have it opened on a future Ultimate Autographs Live Breaks broadcast. Also, while you're waiting for your break to fill, we encourage you to look around ultimateautographs.com to see if you find a piece of memorabilia you love and want to add to your collection. And don't forget, Every live break spot you purchase automatically earns you 6% back in UA cash that you can later exchange for a mystery box or a signed item of your choosing. All right, the time has come. Let's break some certified authentic sports memorabilia in Ultimate Autographs live break room. Tell them, boys. And from our studios in suburban Chicago, it's Ultimate Autographs. Live breaks. Welcome in everyone on this Saturday night, June twelfth. Joe Aguilar, Matty Bohan, and Matt. What's going on? Not much, Joe. How are you? I'm good. You know what weekend this is? What is it, Matt? Flag day. It's flag day weekend. Flag day is Monday. You know how many people really celebrate flag day? None. We do. We do. We've got our big flag day extravaganza. If you haven't seen the show in the last uh, 48 hours or so because we are uh, honoring Flag Day. It's the uh, the day that we adopted the Stars and Stripes as our official flag here in the United States. Big day, June 14th. Um, and so we've got a 200 box extravaganza. We have a football mixer, platinum helmet series, replica helmet series, and a jersey. 50 box in each one. What's in the mixer, Joe? The mixer is all football stuff as well. You could have a full-size helmet, a mini helmet, a jersey, could be a football, white panel ball, could be a pylon, could be a big photo. No authentics in the mixer. That's about the only thing that's that's not in. Matthew Short and Tony, what's going on, guys? Matthew, how can you not be excited on, on Flag Day weekend? Or as in Chicago, we also call it Charles Leno Jr. Uh, weekend also because it's like uh, flag on the field. False start, offense number 72, holding offense number 72. So it's also Charles Leno Jr. Day. Of course, he's now with Washington, so he's no longer uh, our problem. So, But uh, that's the other kind of flag day uh, in Chicago. That's a wow. What do you think of that, Matt? That's a wow. I thought about that in about five minutes. What that's, do you think? That's a wow. <laughs> Did not see that. Came out left. Didn't see that. Or maybe you didn't see this. 
Dun, 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 dun. That's a Dutch auction today. Oh, it's a Patriot. <laughs> with a flag. The flag is actually my wife's. I could probably give this away with the Dutch. He'd probably scream at me. But uh, here, John Hanna, Hall of Famer. That's our Dutch auction item. Uh, tonight, the John Hanna is an authentic. It's a uh, Riddell Speed Authentic Helmet John, uh, helmet John Hanna, the uh, Hall of Fame offensive left guard, former New England Patriot, played in Super Bowl twenty when the Patriots lost to the Chicago Bears. Uh, that was his last NFL game you played in, by the way, John Hanna. So this helmet retails at three hundred and seventy bucks. It does have a little scratch. It's not even really a scratch. I don't know. It's some kind of little mark here, right there. But it's about a half inch, not even an inch long. It's enough that we can't sell it in the break or retail. So we're going to... Sean Norman, I haven't seen you in a while in the chat. What's going on, Sean? John, your Boston guy, I think. John Hanna, baby. John Hanna. There you uh, go. 370 uh, retails. We're dropping 20 bucks off it right off the bat. Uh, uh, so it's 350 right now. It's on the UA Live breaks page. Uh, if it doesn't sell, it's got a first one, uh, first served on this one. First one to, to gobble it up. If it doesn't sell every 15 minutes, we'll drop it uh, 15 bucks or so. Yeah. But this is, again, a platinum helmet. Um, I can show you the video. Let me show you the video. Sure. Let's show the Dutch auction video to let you know how it works. And then we'll do dice roll. we got a couple of personals to get to. Matthew Short. Uh, Matthew, let us know what box numbers you want for those. Gotcha. We got them. Uh, oh, there they are, 32 and 47. They're already in the chat. Let's do the Dutch auction video, and then uh, we'll start opening uh, some boxes. We'll do the, uh, the dice roll as well. Okay, where's my video? Introducing Ultimate Autographs Dutch Auction. So, you're probably wondering, what is Ultimate Autographs Dutch Auctions, and how do Dutch auctions work? Well, it's pretty simple actually. Every once in a while, an oopsie happens, somewhere between the item being signed and the item arriving at Ultimate Autographs. These oopsies come in many shapes and sizes, like scratches, minor dents, or something very small that you can usually only see if you really pay attention. Because Ultimate Autographs prides itself on only providing collectors with the best of the best, we do not put these items in any of our mystery boxes, nor do we list them on our website. However, we know there are savvy collectors who are not worried about a tiny little scratch, if it means they can get a big name for very cheap. Therefore, we're going to Dutch auction these items with minor defects. When one of these items becomes available, it will be Dutch auctioned during the UA Live Breaks broadcast you're watching. As the show progresses, the price of the item will slowly lower until it hits rock bottom price. If you want to add the item to your collection, you can either wait until it hits rock bottom price, or you can snag it early, if you fear another collector in the room is interested in the item. To purchase the item at its current price, simply purchase it on a UA Live Break Room page, like you would any UA Live Break spot. We hope you enjoyed this exciting game. Let the Dutch auctions begin. Veel geluk. There it is, the Dutch. Hey, Anthony, I was thinking the same thing. You know what I'm going to do? My wife actually lived in Holland when she was little for five years. Her dad got stationed out there for business, not military. Um, so I'm going to ask her. She actually spoke a little Dutch. They, they had to because no one spoke, spoke English. The only thing she remembers how to say from Dutch, it was, Ink vind die dumb, Elisabeth. Which means, I think you're dumb, Elizabeth, because Elizabeth was, uh, was and is her sister. That's all she remembers. Ink vind dumb. I think you're dumb. But, that, that's, but I'm going to ask her, because the accent, I'm like, is that, is that legit, or do we actually hire a guy with a Dutch accent to do the voice? But anyway, Dutch, John Hanna, authentic, sweet, 370 retail. We have it at 350 right now on the UA Live Breaks page. And again, if it, if it doesn't go, we'll keep dropping it until, like, where we can't drop it. So uh, there you go. Remember, it's Flag Day. Flag Day weekend. Flag Day is Monday. Lots of flag stuff going on. Uh, <laughs> good to see everybody in the chat. Let's do, uh, how about the dice roll, Joe? That would be nice. Then we'll, then we'll know uh, how much to randomize. I appreciate that. <laughs> Sounds, like, <laughs> Sounds like Matt after a few beers. Now there's, we got to go do that. There's worse, there's worse things to sound like, I guess, right? <laughs> yes, there are. Oh, it's too funny. Dice roll, got to be a six or higher. I had a six. Oh, are you kidding me? Payback. The randomizer gets payback on Joe. Twelve. Yeah. Seriously. Can we redo that? Can we redo that? Does anyone have a problem with me redoing that? This is what happens when I uh, wh I whine a little too much. Uh, I roll a twelve. <laughs> Karma, it's, uh, well, you know the, you know the saying. 
Karma baby for Joe there with the 12 on the randomizer. All right. Let's do uh, Matthew Short's personals. Let's get those out of the way. Uh, Matt, let's take care of those for you. And then we will do the uh, Flag Day Mixer live break number one. What's up, Nick Perrine? Thanks for joining us, Nick. Nick, there are mini helmets in the mixer, but no uh, mini helmet series tonight. Uh, for Nick, for anybody else. For, that's just the way it is. Hopefully we'll have some minis, an individual mini helmet series soon. All right, so Matthew, we've got... Let me backtrack. 32 on the mixer. Let's do the mixer first. 32 on the mixer. Oh, I got to go with the back to check. 32 on the mixer. I'll be right back. I got it. Sorry, gang. Hope Matt filled up, uh, was talking his ear off, talking your ear off here. It's like, Joe, I'm busy. I have a job. 32, Matthew, I found it. I had a, I had a bear, it was buried. I'm like, hope we have it. Kylan, what's up, bro? You didn't miss anything. We haven't opened the box yet. We're doing them, uh, starting with Matthew Short's uh, two personals here. And then we'll get, we did the, we did the dice roll. That's always an exciting time. Uh, we, we rolled the 12. And so for this one, we have, this is the, uh, the Frank Gore wrap. So the way this works, uh, well, this is Matt. So Matthew, you uh, can either be entered into a Frank Gore replica full-size helmet break, or we can give you 10 bucks in UA cash. You let us know. Frank Gore. So here we have the mixer. Uh, we got a football for you. We have a football. It's uh, who is that? It's a Buccaneer. Uh, someone want to tell me who it is here? There's a, there's a COA right there. There's a COA. It's a Beckett. It's a Beckett COA. Is it? I shoot. Oh, it's Warren Sapp. There are no label here, but I do recognize the auto. It's Warren. Sap. Wow, I'm almost like, I don't know if I, oh yeah, it's Warren Sap. That's a good one. The uh, Hall of Fame defensive tackle, Warren Sap. Matt, I think you did pretty well there, man. Warren Sap, white panel, Bucks ball. Yeah, no label. Matt, you're in the chat. Let us know what uh, what do you want us to do there with the, uh, either, either enter into the Gore helmet break for the, uh, the chance to win the Frank Gore replica helmet, or we'll give you ten bucks in uh, in UA cash. Let's write that info down. So seven, so four. Warren Sap. All right. No little sleeve for that either, but um, all right. That's the mixer. It's a good one. Get a Hall of Famer all day. Then let's do. Let me just do that. That's the mixer. Blah, blah, blah. Sap ball and all right. Now the the flag day jersey. We've got uh, forty seven on the jersey. I got to run and get that one. You know, hey, I need the exercise anyway. That will attest. Uh, so forty seven on the jersey. Well, then we'll do the mixer and Matt. You maybe give a little update on. Uh, looks, don't, don't look like he's busy. His orders must be be coming in. So forty seven on the jersey. Let me run real fast. See if I got Jersey 47. 47 on the Jersey. Good luck. Uh, no, we have not opened any breaks yet, so we are uh, we're doing Matthew Schwartz personals right now.
Got it. Found it. You got some exercise tonight, and you got a 12 on the dice roll. Wow. What a night. I might just have to run that Dutch auction video one more time just so I can catch my breath. I got 47, though. Found it. Matthew going all the way to the end of the line there. 47. Warren Sap on the first person. Made a good start. Let's see what you got here. All right, first of all, it's the. Um, let's see who the flag is. Stuck. He wants to be in the break, by the way. In the break, cool. Oh, it's this is a. Well, my flag. <laughs> this is a train wreck. It's, but it is. It's Kyler Murray. There we, it was taped. All the tape got all crumpled. It's a, the Kyler, Kyler Murray authentic. Matthew, I'm just guessing you probably want to go to the Kyler Murray authentic uh, helmet break. Got a uh, Beckett COA here on the jersey. That you don't have to worry about. And this, oh, man, you killed it again. How about Eric Dickerson? Eric Dickerson, the Hall of Fame running back on a Rams. Sweet. Nice. Man, I think you did well here. Two Hall of Fame players, Sworn Sapp and the great, uh, equally great Eric Dickerson. That's the way to do it. Lost my pen. What am I doing? What am I doing my pen, Joe? Fortunately, we have pens. We have a lot of pens here and a lot of boxes. That's true. We lead the league. There we go, Matthew. Eric Dickerson. All right, there we go. Joe and Flo, Gams, I liked, I liked that. I had my chat. I uh, My screen was stuck there, so I didn't see all these other these chats. I, I think I missed all these comments in the last five minutes here. Oh, we always get that one, want to become famous by followers. Do not buy followers, people. Who is that person who does that? I know it's a robot thing. It's a bot. Yeah. It's a bot. Stop over. Does everyone see that, too? Or are we just seeing that on our screen? Do you guys see that? I see it. We see it. Full home of flag day. Alan Green in the chat. Eric Dickerson. Again, Matthew, are you uh we we see Matthew's comment, I'm assuming he wants to be in the in the uh the Kyler Murray. Hold on. So much paperwork here. Yeah, he wants with to be, this series. He wants to be in the brain. Excellent. Short, and then uh, and the, he wants to be in both of them, right? Yeah. All right, very cool. I think Sean's got a question for you too. Sean in the chat, do uh, uh, double jersey bazooka. Um, I'd be up for that, you guys. Up for that? It's up to you guys to chat. I want to do a double box jersey. We can either do. Uh, we have two jersey series. We have the, the flag day one, and then we also have the. Uh, the past and present series. So uh, let us know what you guys would uh, would like to do. Who were the Pony Express? Do you know? yeah, yeah, double jersey. The Pony Express. Oh, I know this. This was Dickerson and um, Craig James. Do you remember that name? No. Nope. Craig James. Sap ball and then um, Dickerson jersey. I love, I love Bob's trivia questions. Yeah, Tony, uh, we're doing the mixer now. Yes, you got it, Tony. Yeah, Tony, we didn't fill it, obviously, uh, last time we spoke this afternoon or in the chat, but we did fill as we expected it would um, in between shows here. So let's do this mixer, which I know you got into early uh, this afternoon or late during the afternoon show. So all right, we'll randomize this divisional break here, and then we will do the uh, the mixer, the first box break of, of the night. That wasn't a, uh, a personal and again, bear with me. It's a long one tonight. It's 12. But I think we could do double jersey at the flag, Sean. Matty could do that uh, once we uh, got an opportunity to do so. Sound good, Matt? Sure. 9, 10, 11, and 12. S single box break here.
All right, we got uh, Tony Nestor, both have a pair of spots. Gams has a pair of spots. Scott Snyder and Kylan. Kylan calling out box 13 on the uh, mixer. We can do that. I think that was the first box called. Yep. 13. Take that off the screen. Box 13 on the uh, the mixer. Let's do it. Box 13. What do you think is worth the Stanley Cup? Sean asks. Oh, Matt and I were talking. Matt's a big hockey guy, too. I know the easy pick is to say Tampa because they're the defending champs. I love Tampa, but that Vegas team, man, they whipped our Blackhawks in that weird playoff you know, they did last year. Oh, after COVID. hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, good, did he? Uh, did he you called out one? Did you already break it? Uh, oh, I, Tony, uh, you're right. My apologies. I see it up there. Been waiting for hours. Uh, uh, you did call out one. Well, you know, all I did was cut one seal right here, the tape. So it's still sealed. We will do good catch. Good catch. Thank you, boys. We can do one. That was 13. Let me put me, before I forget, I'll put 13 back up. Apologize, guys. Thank you. We'll do, we will do, uh, we'll do one. one. I'm glad someone picked one. This is also a light one. That's cool, Tony. We'll do we'll do one. It's right right here. I know sometimes like the lower box numbers they get uh, they they get forgotten. Lone, one is the loneliest. I'm gonna write that song someday. One is the loneliest number. I'm gonna write that song. Um, but here we go, one. Who's number one? This box right here, baby. We can tell you the flag says uh, Donovan McNabb rap. We have a piece of paper. This paper, you don't have to worry about. This one says, congratulations, you have won an autographed pylon. Oh, the pylons are cool. By uh, Clinton Portis. So Clinton Portis, let me uh, just confirm. Clinton Portis, long time, red, more red skin, right? Clinton Portis, I just want to double check. Right? There's the pylon. Let me double check this before we go. I always get... Portis more of a Redskin or a Bronco, I always get that mixed up. Clinton Portis. Let's see, he was. Yes, Redskin. Redskin, right? Washington football team. Yep. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yes. drafted by Denver, traded to Washington, where he spent most of his career. So Washington is an NFC uh, East hit, uh, and that would be uh, Mark Hoffman. That's Tony. That's Tony. There you go. Tony, there you go, man. The uh, the pylons are are pretty cool. Who, how many people have pylons in their house, right? That's a headliner hit, too. It, it is. This is we I think we have three or four pylons in uh, in the series. You guys pulled Curly Culp last night. PSA COA comes with that. I think the uh, Clinton Portis is the only headliner though. Yeah, and they're all pretty I mean, there's a Steve Grogan pylon. What did we pull earlier today? We pulled uh, we pulled a pylon. Uh, Dante Hall. Dante Hall. Yeah. So here's Clinton Portis. This, this is the actual pilot. It's, it feels like a beanbag. It just sits right there. We were joking at the afternoon show that, um, you know, tell me you want to take, so when you see this, the little boy and you just wants to take a football and go, oh, yeah, breaking the pilot. Touchdown. But there you go. Yeah, Tony, I think it's cool. How many guys, again, you can, you can put this anywhere. You could display it like that to see the auto, but I'm thinking just like that. Right? So, yeah. Tony, there you go. So, the uh, again, we can enter you in the Donovan McNabb full-size replica helmet, uh, top spot break, or give you 10 bucks in, in UA cash. You let us know. Let us know in the chat. Um, so, with this mixer, it's only a football mixer, so we just keep the divisions. Normally... Um, if it's a multi-sport mixer or anything like that, we uh, then it, then it would be a top spot break. But since it's a football mixer, we stick to the divisions. Yes, correct. If it was a multi-sport mixer, as as uh, Matt just explained there, we would do ten spots. But all the because it's all football, it's still a a divisional break. Probably should I meant to explain that at the top of the show. 
Because when I saw this mixer too, my first reaction was, oh, we got another mixer, it must be a 10 spot break. But no, it is an eight spot because uh, it's all NFL teams, uh, all NFL players. He wants to be in the break. Tony in the uh, McNabb break. Right? Yep. All right. All right, very good. Guys, thanks for filling that out. That was uh, a single box break on the uh, Flag Day Mixer live break number one. I, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we fill out Mixer two. Uh, hopefully we will tonight or a couple more and we'll open uh, if someone wants to, to open <laughs> box 13. Right. But thanks for catching that in the chat. I appreciate it. And Matt uh, as well. This, this, by the way, this sheet of paper is in if, because this could happen, if you buy a uh, retail box on the mystery box, you buy a retail mystery box, uh, and you don't want it to open on stream, just like, you know, send it to my house, I'll open it, I want to see what I get. This is in there to let you know um, what to do so you could be, assure yourself of either getting into a top spot break, depending on what it, the flag says in the box, or if you want 10 bucks in UA cash. So that that's why... All the boxes come with this sheet of paper. Who was on the flag? Oh, the flag for the um, for the pylon was uh, Donovan McNabb. Yeah, that was the uh, the player's name, Donovan McNabb. So it's a, a uh, full size replica helmet for the McNabb. And again, these boxes there are five names in total. It could, it could be a Dak Prescott authentic. Could be a Kyler Murray authentic, a Mike Singletary replica helmet, and a Frank Gore replica helmet, and a McNabb replica helmet. So, uh, where be I? Uh, depending on how many, someone asked earlier today, I think it was Bob asked in the chat, if uh, how many people will be in um, in the top spot break for that. Depends on how many people want the cash, as opposed to how many people want the uh, to be entered into the break. And again, there's 40 for each player, 20, 200 boxes in total. What's the uh, full helmet uh, flag day looking like? Uh, we got two. Well, we got two helmets, the rep and authentic, and both of the live break number ones that filled out. So let's do uh, past and present. This is um, a jersey series. Past and present referring to this series has uh, uh, former uh, players were great and current players were great, which is pretty much every series we do. But that's what it's called, past and present. It's a black box. It's a black box. It is true. Matt, you are correct. So no flags. No flags in this one. Correct. Also correct. Then we're like, where's the flag? Oh, it's not, it's not actually a flag. Uh, a flag day break. Bob, you want to call a box, man? Twelve times. Yeah, again, if you're in this break and want to call in a box number, uh, I would appreciate that because I don't want to randomize a bunch of numbers 12 times. You sure? <laughs> that I am sure. 17. There you go, Bob. And a boy. 10, 11. Almost there, folks. 12. Bang, bang. There we go. 17. 17. Dylan Strom. Dylan Strom. Hockey guy. There you go. Uh, 17. We got uh, Angelo Anzano. I love that name. Uh, three uh, spots here. Ryan Murray's got three as well. Bob's got two. And we got uh, box 17 for the past and present. Let me take that off the screen. 17. We grab 17 on past and present. All right, guys, good luck. Box 17. Oh, we have 60 in this series. 60. We are just like, we're just getting going on this one. I think we dropped this midweek. What are you Kind of a quick question. Uh, I'm on uh, day, uh, day 17, my goodness. I mean, what the authentic look like before I go to bed for work tomorrow? Uh, did, did you win the authentic? Or which authentic? Oh, the, uh, the, the Dutch. The Dutch item? I'll show you that in a second. I'm assuming that's what you're referring to. Are you are you referring to the the breaker in, or are you referring to the Dutch? To back at COA. Because the authentic has filled. Ken, which which uh, series are you talking about? We have a former Chicago Bear. Ooh, it's the Great Bears. Dan Hampton, NFC North. Uh, that's Ryan Murray. Ryan, this is a good one. The great Dan Hampton, who's uh, 
Uh, Hall of Famer, also in the uh, School of Penmanship, too. Hampton has a great auto. Great auto. Danimo. Remember that song? Ooh. That was that was my era, that was my college. Era. I cannot say. They called him Danimo. Hall of Famer. Defensive tackle. Defensive end. Started on the Super Bowl 20 champion Bears. The great Dan Hampton. Amazing Hampton can sign that well when his fingers are just like busted up from smashing people on the football field for didn't, a living. Didn't he have uh, like nine knee surgeries or something? Yeah, at least. At least. Ryan, that's a good hit. Dan Hampton. Yeah, some guys did. A lot of the old guys did. They paid attention. Some of the current players. Eh. But all the old guys, man, they 90% of them sign well. I gotta give it to you. Right? It's true. I'm just I'm just I'm just speaking the truth. It'd but be, some of the guys, some of the current guys, you know, they but it'd be ironic if you had a bad auto. Well, you know the thing is. Me, me personally? Yeah, personally, mine is not great. I don't have great penmanship. Um, I look at it as like if you're not, if you're like you're just a guy who's you're lucky. You know, you're lucky to be in the NFL. You might play two or three years. Can, if you're if you're just like not good, look, I know every NFL player is good. That's why you're in the league. I get it. Uh, but if you're really not that good and you have a bad auto, like if you're just okay and you have a good auto, you can make, you can be signed for the rest of your life. And people want that. So it's like you know, so see if you're doing, if you're just like an okay player, have a good auto. It's obviously close to Joe's heart. It's a very, very touchy subject for Joe. Look at the John. Like I'm teaching my kids at home. That's right. Good penmanship matters. Matt, do you have a good auto? I do have a good auto. It's Flag Day weekend. If you knew that, you do have a good auto. Joe just likes rubbing that in my face. <laughs> can you show me? Can you show me your auto? We're doing a do double. We're doing a double Flag Day jersey. <laughs> awesome. Run the double flag jersey. Sean, you got it, brother. You know who Everding showed me his autograph? <laughs> One day turned, I think it was this week. I think Katrina uh, Perrine wanted it. So Dave sent it to her. Everding. Big hitter here. Big hitter. Platinum filled up. Danny Dimes, named after Daniel Jones. I don't know, did we pull Danny Jones yet? The, uh, the giant QB who uh, better have a big year this year or they're going to be in trouble, I think. I don't know. Don't know. Let's do uh, the Platinum, Danny Dimes. Bang, bang. Put everyone's name there. If you want to call it a box number, uh, I would appreciate it. There's the list. 12 times we randomized tonight. Yeah, so that double jersey is going to be $46 a spot. Forty-six bucks on the uh, the jersey. Yeah, it's so twenty-three bucks a spot. Twenty-three times two is forty-six. Joe showing off his Washington grade school uh, math skills. Yeah. Eight, nine, ten, twelve. There we go. Did you just randomize the box numbers? Did I? Uh, is that what you just did? No, I no, I just randomized the list. Oh, okay. oh the gun. No, don't scare me, man. Don't scare me. Someone call the box number. Okay. Beautiful. Danny Dimes, 20, it looks like. 20 on the uh, the Platinum. I might have to get more boxes for the Platinum. We got him in the back. 20. Yeah, it looked like Eddie got in there before with 20. Eddie Enriquez. 20. 20 on the Platinum. I love these boxes. I always think I have to get new kitchen countertops because I want that kind of look on my uh, countertops. Mine is the UA logo. I, I just, my wife probably would not go for that. You sure? No, new kitchen counters, UA logo on. What do you think of that? A uh, oh. little granite look? I don't know if it would fit in your 107-year-old house. <laughs> it would not, probably. 
True story, I do. My house is 170 years old. It's a uh, two-story uh, tan brick. It's really cool. Radiator heat, the whole deal. It's a plaqued house. Historically, plaqued. I got, got a plaque in the front of the house. This good fun. Not for everybody. It's not everybody's cup of tea. All right, here we go. Say uh, Beckett, COA. Interesting. Interesting here. Frank Gore. This is not part of the mixer, you know, flag day extravagant. This is a Frank Gore Niners authentic, of course, authentic helmet series. Speed authentic, the great uh, Frank Gore, who, uh, if he plays this year, will be his 83rd season in the National Football League. He just <laughs> keeps going and going so that, and going. So that make him, what, 100? And... He's about 118. <laughs> He's still fast, too. Yeah. Niners hit NFC West. It's Eddie. Eddie called the box. Go, Eddie. He gets the uh, the Frank Gore. Seriously, Frank Gore. Is it like 16 seasons in the NFL? Something like that. Yeah. Um, and I think he's is he fourth or fifth all time yards? Mm -hmm. I think he's third. Third. Nuts. Played with the Jets last year. You know he's a free agent now. I I had heard uh, you know make one rumor where. Maybe he signs with the Niners again. Goes back where he this is where he had his glory years with with the uh, Niners. Right. Yeah, Frank, I agree. I like that auto too, uh, Nick. In the chat there. Yeah, I, you know, everyone's got just got to have mad props for uh, mad respect for Frank Gore, right? Absolutely. Dylan in the chat. Hey guys, I'm full size uh, Hurricanes. Uh, Jeremy Shockey, authentic. I need to sell if anyone is interested. That's for everyone in the chat there. I guess, do you want to see Frank Gore pass up Walter, though? No. Because he's only like 700 yards away. I know. But how many more? I mean, I hear what you're saying, Matt. We're, you know, Peyton's my favorite player of all time, NFL. Any guy my age, give or take 10 years, probably tell you the same thing. Right. We, everyone, we love sweetness. If you want a good follow, um, follow his son, Jarrett, on Twitter. Jarrett's a great follow on Twitter. Jared Payton. The cool thing about with Jared is he, like he gets being Walter's kid. He's always tweeting stuff about his dad, historical moments, and you know videos and stuff. And you know, some guys like you know I'm my own guy. I don't want to be associated with my dad. But uh, I love that Jared really embraces that. And it's almost like Walter has his own Twitter site because Jared is constantly. Uh, and never again, everyone in Chicago just loves Walter so much that you just love seeing the old videos and the facts about Walter and uh, love Jared Payton for that. I know Jared, um, in my newspaper days, we used to work with him a little bit, and he's just a fantastic guy. Just TV in Chicago now, but uh, really cool. Thanks for the shout-out, guys. I pulled it from uh, UA. just don't have the room for it. I get it, Dylan. It's cool. 300 bucks ship. Yeah, the Platinum is like a mystery box for a Platinum is 400 so, you know, there you go. I'm going to lower the Dutch. Oh, I never made the Dutch I'm going to show the uh, Dutch again. That's my bad. What'd you do? I never made it active. Oh, you never made it active. Sorry. Matt, will do that now. We can take a break here. In the meantime, I will show you the uh, John Hanna Authentic. We have it for, uh, well, Matt's listening now, so it's... Uh, 350, you want to drop it? Yeah, what do you want to drop it to? Let's drop it to 335. We'll drop it 15 bucks. John Hanna, Hall of Fame, Offensive Guard, Patriots. Uh, there it is, Hall of Fame, Class of 91. I love the Hanna. Speaking of great autos for older players, John Hanna was actually in our UH studios uh, a couple, two, three weeks ago. Love how he puts the jersey number, the 73 there, right in the J. The only blemish on this helmet this authentic helmet is right right on the crown there. You see, it's just a little, it's really not even a scratch. When I rub my finger over it, it doesn't even, it's not, you know, it doesn't feel like a scratch, but it's some little, like, black mark. It was enough that we said we can't uh, put this in our brakes or sell it retail, but there it is. And look, it's Flag Day weekend. It's kind of, kind of perfect. We have a Patriot. Little John had a flag. It is now active on the site. Now it is. Yeah. Sorry. For for three thirty five? Three thirty five. Three thirty five. Hall of Famer, John Hanna. Love it. Uh I think that's pronounced 
London, I want to say. London? London? In the chat? Yeah, I. we do have your order. You are on Living Legends, and um, that is ready to go. So you're all good. Uh, where are you seeing that? Oh, right there. Uh, you guys see my uh, London. Gotcha. We're all good there? Yep. We, uh, we got one box remaining in that Living Legends series, so... One box of the Living Legends, yes. Yeah, because the, the other ones, uh, we, we just did, we, did we, no, we didn't do Living Legends yet. No, but we got it coming up. Gotcha. Right, we're going to do Flag Day of the Authentic Company. We just did the, the Danny Dimes Authentic. This is the uh, Flag Day Authentic with Nestor, Kylan, Ryan, Eddie, Dave. Uh, Nestor with uh, a couple spots here. Uh, Burdell, what's up going on? What's going on, Burdell? And, uh, and Bob as well. New addition to the uh, UA Breaks video, a fan. Not an actual person. Not like a big Matt Bohannon fan. There are a lot of those. Uh, but uh, an actual fan. It gets warm in here. Especially when it's like 90 degrees outside in Chicago. We didn't hit 90 today. We got it rained a little bit. It was sunny. It's humid. All right. Halfway home, seven. It's a, it's a marathon sometimes on the, on the on the dice roller. And 12. Made it. What do you want to do for the next flag day, Jersey? We sold out of the double. We sold out of the double? We sold out of the double. Let's do another double on the jersey. What do you say? Right, let's do it. Let's do another double on the jersey. That's cool with everybody. So flag day authentic. Did we get a box number yet? I think we're still looking. The uh, flag day authentic. This is our first break of the night. The uh, the list on the bottom of the screen is accurate. Uh, flag day authentic. We got three, six, nine, and ten in the room. Nestor, Kylan, Ryan, Eddie, Dave, Burdell, Bob. How about a box number here? Uh, three, six, nine, and ten. Thank you, Kylan. Six. Six on the Flag Day Authentic. Six. Six. There we go. All right, gentlemen. Good luck here, box six. I just keep moving my uh, my mouse pad here, the giant mouse pad. So you know what I did? I think I just opened the wrong side of the box. I did. You did indeed. I did. Shame on me. Don't tell anybody. Our secret. And here it is, because the flag is taped to the inside. Can you read that inside there? It's taped to the right side. There it is. You can still read it. It's, it's Donovan McNabb. It's for Don, all Donovan McNabbs. What's going on with this? The Donovan McNabb. So, so again, if you, if you win this, you can be entered into the Donovan, Donovan McNabb full-size helmet drawing. JSA, COA, and there's no stickers. I hope I can read this auto. Hope I can read it. I have no idea. The breaker is shocked. It's a charger. Oh, that's it's a charger. It's LT. Uh, the Hall of Famer. It's, it's LT. It's LaDainian. It is LaDainian Tomlin's auto. It is. No no mention anywhere. anywhere. This happens. Our girl Nikki left. Did we tell you that? And um, Oh, it's only LaDainian Tomlinson. Chargers, AFC West, that's guess who? His first win of the night, he had a dry spell. Uh, Nestor Rodriguez, NFC West, Ladanian, Matt, uh, Ladanian Tomlinson. Matt, glad you could help me out there. I you think I'd seen enough LT signatures by now, Tomlinson, but I didn't, uh, I didn't pick up on that right away. All right. Hey, Alan, we're going to do yours next. Yeah. We're going to do your break next. Nothing. I got nothing. Nestor, do you want to be in the break? Yeah, Nestor, 10 bucks UA cash or enter in the top spot to uh, win 
a Donovan McNabb replica helmet. Let us know, uh, Nestor. I think Nestor's from the uh, California. Yeah, he he's a Niners fan, I believe. Yeah. Right. Hopefully, he likes that one. The bags are cool too. These are, you know, some of these are our mixer bags. But uh, dirty, good, good for dirty laundry. Good for um, range balls. Range balls to put candy in there. It's little snacks. Very versatile. It's kind of like a utility infielder bag. You can do a lot of different things for you. Always has a spot on your roster. Always has a spot in your cover. One of these, one of these bags. What do you think? Nestor, let us know. I think our rule is if we don't hear from the person, we enter him into the top spot. A Halloween bag. There you go. Uh, oh, there you go. Who suggested? Oh, Bob. Perfect. Utility player. Kind of like a Chris Bryant. Play anywhere. Do anything for you. Kind of like, it was fun, fellas. I'm off to bed. Next day is hopefully Father's Day. Kylan, uh... Good, good to see you in the chat. Uh, thank you for, for checking us out here, as always. Have a good night. Have a good night, brother. He wants the drawing. Nestor for the drawing for the McNabb. Yes, sir. Beautiful. Thank, thank you, Nestor. There, I see it there. All right. That was uh, the Flag Day Authentic Helmet Break. Matt, we're going to do the uh, personal, or we can do a Flag Day rep? We'll do the rep. Let's do the Flag Day replica helmet first break of the, of the night. And we just did, as I, again, I, I opened the box uh, from the bottom up. That was six, right? Yes. Six on the uh, authentic. Let me take that off the screen. We do have a personal, by the way, so we can maybe do that after this one. Okay, we'll do Flag Day Replica 1. Got a first timer here, uh, Zach Nielsen. What's up, Zach? Welcome to uh, UA. First time in the breaks, according uh, to our orders. Here is the list. And then we uh, randomize this list, put you in a uh, NFL division. Demut, trying to win this for my father in law, so let's hope again. Good luck to you, man. Is that Zach? No, I think that's London. London. And the chatter, what, who's he in the, uh, the break? Uh, I think he's in the next, he'll be in the next break. The, the next break. The Living Legends one. Living Legends, okay. Yeah, Father, uh, Father's Day next Sunday. Yeah. Nothing says, uh, I love you, honey, like uh, UA breaks, memorabilia. Can I get you a pylon, Joe? Oh, pylon would be dope. We don't have any Bears pylons, though. Can I get you some UA cash? UA cash works for me. Okay. How about 200 bucks? That work? <laughs> two hundred. Hey, two hundred be more than enough. I appreciate. It. We, we very, went, very kind of you. We went from ten dollars UA cash to two hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> don't get treated. Don't get treated, John. You greedy son of a gun, Aguilar. <laughs> uh, how about a box here for the Flag Day replica helmet? Alan, call it the box, man. What do you say? Flag day reps. The uh, what do we got? In the uh, room we got. Um, where are my box numbers? I've got uh, oh one two four and six. One two four and six. One two four and six. There you go. Need a box number here. Uh, Matthew, Nestor, Zach, Ryan, Allen, Ryan Murray. Nobody. There you go. Matthew, save me. Matthew Short, box four on the reps. Box four on the reps. I got it. You want to take that off the screen? What's that? Number four. Yes. Oh, yeah. We'll take four off the uh, for the reps. All right, there we go. Four front fire box. Eddie Jackson box. Eddie, yeah, Eddie Jackson changing to four. We've talked about that. You like the uh, that linebackers now? Uh, yeah. The receivers can have a single digit. I love that. I really like that, right? Uh -huh. 
Flag day. Where's my flag? It's buried. Oh, it fell off. Flag. Ooh. First one for the Singletary wrap. The Mike Singletary wrap helmet. Singletary. Chicago Bear Hall of Famer. Let's see what we got here. Adam Vinatieri, yeah, sure. just retired. Oh, there you go. There you go. He's he'll be in the hall. Oh yeah. He'll be in the hall. Back at COA. Ooh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Seahawk. This is DK Metcalf on his old Miss wow. uh, College Hall. A uh, shut replica helmet. Old Miss, look at DK Metcalf. This is a Seattle Seahawks hit. Yeah, very nice. NFC West is Ryan Murray. There you go, Ryan. Wow. Just Ryan's second win, I think, tonight. I think so, yeah. Ryan killing it. That's nice. DK Metcalf. It's flag day. He's got the flag on his, on his helmet. Oh, Matt. And you recognize, of course. Look at that, baby. I don't know. Their, I don't know their fight song. I don't know why I'm doing the presidential thing. I, I don't know. It just sounds. <laughs> just sounds. Just sounds patriotic. I thought. I'd say it sounds like uh, someone's getting married. <laughs> I was supposed. To, I was doing like the inauguration. Dun, 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 dun. I don't. Where's that? Rollins? Donnie, I need you to come in here and sing. Sing so come down a song. DK Metcalf. Ryan wants the drawing. Ryan, you want the drawing for the Michael Singletary? You got it, man. I'll stop doing that, I promise. Isn't that the inauguration? The wedding is down. Dun, 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 dun. That's <laughs> yeah. Matt. Matt, we'll get you someday. He'll be walking down got... the aisle. It'll probably have them play the, the uh, presidential theme instead. Like, oh, <laughs> you messed it up. Then I get slapped by my wife. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Matt? This is a... Uh, this is a cool helmet. This is a cool hit. It is a cool helmet. Right? DK Metcalf. It's got, got a little bit of a bedazzle on the yeah, helmet. It does got the it does have a little sparkle in there. A little sparkle. I don't know if you can see that on this. Can you see that? You can on the, on yeah, the product can camera. It. Yeah. Yeah, that's not dust. It wasn't like, oh, this is dust. We've had it out in the back room for two years. No, that's actually a little bedazzle. It kind of looks like a night sky. It does. Oh. It does, yeah. There you go. Honey, look at that. Put the DK Metcalf helmet. Now, right the kitchen romantic table. night. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Ryan, that's sweet, man. Congrats. Where does he rank among your uh, top receivers in the National Football League? Current, uh, current receivers. Top I think, 10? Top 10. I, I, yeah, I, I think Everding has him at two. What? I wouldn't put him that high. Lovely guy. All body team, right? I mean. Oh, yeah. I mean, this guy. Jeez. Come on. But, uh, yeah, I'd like to see at least top 10. PK. Second Metcalf you got this week? Nice. Jeez. Jeez. What did the boys say? Jeez. Jeez. Uh, was that, uh, I'm assuming that's a Seahawks hit you got. Ryan? He's right there with Adams. Yeah, a lot of people, uh, you know, put him in your top three, top five for sure. He's got to be more a little more consistent for me. Yeah, he said some drops, right? Yeah. To me... DeAndre Hopkins is a little bit better. Uh, yeah, I, I, that's my top guy in football Steph, at, at the receiver position. Stephon Diggs. DeAndre Hopkins. Yeah, Stephon Diggs, man, you can't argue with what he's done. Mini, oh, a mini chrome you got. That's cool. Uh, Seahawks chrome uh, DK Metcalf. That's a, that's worth a nice penny. Yes. That's that's a good one. All right, uh, should we do the personal, Matt? Oh, let's do the Living Legends. So Living Legends. London can uh, see what he wants. See what happens there, and then then we'll do the first one. Gotcha. Living Legends Library, and then this is uh, yeah, only two left here. We only have two boxes left in the entire series. Yep. The last uh, break is posted on the, the UA Live Breaks page. Um, it's I wrote down that's the final box. So, that a boy, Matt. Let's get it going. All right, let's do this. Let's do um, Living Legends after we randomize here. Mini Chrome DK Metcalf. Nice. 
I will not sing. I like when Donnie sings during the breaks. Yeah? Yeah, because I, I can't sing. All right, how about a box number here for Living Legends? We only got two. Two, what do you say? Living Legends, 37 or uh, 49? 37 or 49? Feel free to call a box. Nestor's right. got, uh, what, three spots here. George has one. London has one. Ricky, London, this, you're trying to get this for your father-in-law? It's a great idea. And uh, Perry Martin, I don't even recognize Perry's name. Perry, are you new to, new to the uh, UA breaks? Uh, I've seen Perry. Perry's been around Perry, okay. A while. What's up, Perry? Forty. And there's Perry calling on 49. Thank you, brother. 49 on the uh, living, uh, legends. living Legends. Living 49. Let me grab 49. No, uh, no flag with this one. Make sure I cut the uh, the tape to the right uh, <laughs> right side of the box this time. Here we go. Replica helmet. Beckett, COA. This is a Buffalo Bills hit. Uh, and London, I think this is you, baby. Bills, this is Eric Moult. Wide receiver, former wide receiver for the Bills. This guy was really good. Andre Reid, in the Hall of Fame. you got to say he's probably the best Bills wide receiver ever. But I'll tell you, I'm not a Bills fan, but I, I know this guy, people would really boasts up how good Eric Moulds was as a football player. Bills hit AFC East and uh, London. There you go, man. There you go. Pretty cool. This was a good, was a good player. Eric Moulds. I think he played right after Jim Kelly. Okay. I'd have to double check on that, but uh, nice hit here. London, I don't know if you, does your your, your father will have a, have a favorite team or not necessarily? You just give him whoever you get. There you go. Yeah, it's, hey, it's NFL memorabilia. Beckett COA. This is the important part, too. I mean, I know we say it with every break, but um, when you you know when you buy memorabilia, you got to be careful. I mean, when you're talking, you're talking about Beckett, JSA, PSA, Authentics. You get something certified from them, you take it to the house. Really sweet hit there. Way to go, London. It's a great name. London DeMuth. Is that right? Am I pronouncing it? I think That'd so. Be DeMuth. Love that name. That's cool. Cool name. Cool helmet. Bengals, all right. <laughs> That's all right. That's sweet. We had a, we had a Kenny Anderson... Uh, Mini, a little, a little dinged up, kind of like game worn. Uh, mini. Hey, if, if, London, if you want the Kenny Anderson, we can uh, we can negotiate with you if you want. Yes, do we still have? No, I think I brought it in the other room. Okay. How can we? How can we do that? We can add another. We could just we could just add it, put yep. it on the break straight. Yep. Uh, yeah, London, we have. I don't know if you caught the show earlier today. You know, you know about our Dutch auctions. So we had a. Uh, Ken Anderson for our Dutch earlier today. Mini helmet, Bengals helmet with the stripes on it. The uh, auto was a little, I don't know if it was smeared or just got scratched. Some of the paint on the auto came off. So that retail is like, was it like 110, Maddie? I think. Um, couldn't sell it at retail. Really lowered the price. I think we got it down to 60, 60 bucks maybe? Yeah. We went. Uh, if you're interested in that, uh, we can, we it'd be can, a really good deal for Mini helmet. We can, I can go fetch it from the back if you want to think yeah, about it. Yeah, if you want to see what it looks like. Cause yeah. We just want to be open and honest. It was a Dutch auction item, which means that it was uh, there was a blemish of some sort on it. So we want to make sure that you see it before you uh, before you buy it. So we can grab that for you. Yeah, Kenny Anderson, 1981. Not only did he win the MVP in '81, comeback player of the year, offensive player of the year in the NFL. 16-year career, all with the Bengals. Your dad, if he's a Bengals fan, certainly your would know who Ken, uh, your your father-in-law rather. I'm sorry, would know who Kenny Anderson is. And you can get a Joe Aguilar card. Oh yes, I have an old Kenny Anderson football card. 
throw in that just so I can declutter at, at home. Look at Bob in the chat there. Eric Moles in 2002. Look at that season. 100 catches, 1,292 yards, 10 TDs. Yeah, he was he was darn good. Could you put it back in the fodder room? A foam, uh, a foam pad was stuck to the auto. It took some time uh, to ink. To, uh, to some, some of the ink. Is that what it was, Nick? Matt, are you going to grab it? Yeah. Gonna, he, Matt's going to go grab the uh, Kenny Anderson helmet. Oh, oh, is that where Katrina won that one? Oh, I, Nick, I think I know that yeah, this happened after it was shipped. Yes, because we would not have put that in at retail because it was clearly nicked. No, no pun intended, Nick. Here's the cat. Here it is. So this was sent to you guys, Nick and Katrina. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, Dylan, if you're still there, this is the helmet. So what happened was, yeah, so a pad got stuck to it. That's why it took off some of the uh, the auto right. You can see that. Try to hold it a little closer to the camera. Right, right there. But that's uh, Kenny Anderson, local guy for us, Batavia High School, Augustana College in Illinois. Kenny Anderson. So, Dustin, uh, Dustin, London, why did I say Dustin? London, if you're interested, uh, let us know. We can, we can we, chat. We can negotiate. And we can't give it away. I mean, I would. It's not my money. You know how that works. Uh, but I can't do that. But, uh, again, we, we had it at 60 bucks. If that's something um, you'd say maybe for, for the father-in-law. I'm going to reach out to him in the chat. Let, it, let us know. Not just fell off it happened. Yeah. Thanks for understanding. So I'm assuming then Katrina got the the new and improved, the uh, unscratched or perfectly uh, in perfect shape Ken Anderson helmet. Yes? Very good. Now that was Living Legends uh, live break number one. Oh, there's another one. In, um, was that you, Matt? That's, in the, uh, yeah. that's you in the chat. Yep. All right. Let's do um, a personal for Brad Egger. Brad's... Uh, uh, done a few personals with this over the last couple of weeks or so. Uh, Brad, let us know a box number here and we can take care of that personal right now. Thank you, Nick Perrine in the chat. Brad, are you in the chat? Brad Egger? Brad, let us know what box number on the uh, on the Flag Day Mixer. We can do that right now if you want. 39. Thank you, Brad. Let me check. Um, obviously, I don't have it in the room. Let me hustle back. And let me see if I can find uh, 39. 39 on the mixer. I'm also going to lower that Dutch, uh, the John Hanna Dutch. Uh, Nestor, what number do you want for your personal? I got it. Can it dig? But I got it. Brad, thank you. Thank you, everyone, for, thank you everyone for your patience. This is Box 39, the uh, Flag Day Mixer. Let's see what we got here for Brad. And we got uh, Singletary again. Singletary wrap for the, uh, the, the drawing, if you're interested in that, Brad. If not, we'll give you 10 bucks. UA cash. Back at COA, this is a great hit here. Brad, good at the box number call out. How about the uh, Hall of Famer, the uh, quarterback, Roger Staubach on an wow. eclipse? Yeah. This is fire. This is awesome. Look at this, baby. Staubach on this silver paint pen. Rep helmet, Cowboys Eclipse, the great. Too bad he doesn't have the HOF inscription there, but Roger Stallback, uh, Stallback Navy, right? Stallback? Correct, yeah. The great, I mean, 
has had a tremendous life on and off the field. And you want to go in the drawing for the single tier, you got it. This is really nice. Rod here, stall back. Brad, congratulations. Thank you, man. Sweet. Midshipman, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's right. We, uh, I think we still might have another one in inventory. The Stawback Mini Navy. So. Have you seen that? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a rusted color. Yeah. It is. I don't care what team you root for. It's cool. That is an awesome piece to any collection. As is this. With that Stawback Mini and that Navy Midshipman uh, rusted look. It's really cool. Oh, you have a full size Bob. There you go. Nate, Nate. Oh, man. I mean, you go, if you Google Roger Stallback, and you just want, you'll be reading for like 20 minutes. Okay. Sure. He has had such an amazing life. And he's just, a, he's just a man's man. Stallback. Great hit, Brad. <laughs> hey, Bob, so am I, brother. Nothing wrong with that. Should we do Nestor's uh, personal too? Sure. Nestor, we can take care of your personal as well here. Flag day mixer. He's already called out the box. 15? Yeah. And I got 15 in the room. That Nestor, he made it easy on me. So let's do 15. Well, God bless you, Bob. He's on Medicare. That's not good. Uh, Nestor was 15 on the mixer. 15. Fifteen on the mixer. I'm coming. All right, this is for Nestor Rodriguez. Personal. Fifteen. If you want to do a personal, like uh, Brad and Nestor, you just go to our Ultimate Autographs. Uh, go to ultimateautographs.com. Go to the UA Live Breaks. Tab. Well, don't go to the UA Live Breaks tab. Go to the Mystery Box tab uh, at OpenAutographs.com. It's right there at the top on the uh, in the black horizontal bar there. You'll see it. And uh, click. You see what we have available for the, uh, the retail price. And if you want it uh, opened in the Mystery Box during the stream, just mark that in the uh, when you're placing your order. And uh, we'll do it. Next year, this is a, a Dak Prescott authentic. Isn't it nice. This is nice too. Congratulations! You have won a 16 by 20 signed photo of the great Mike Singletary. Our guy, Samurai Mike. Singletary. And Nestor, you know, uh, Niners guy, Nestor Singletary coached your Niners. I know it wasn't a successful tenure, but uh, was the uh, head coach of the Niners. Let me grab that photo, it's in the room. Singletary, it's got an inscription on it too. Oh, you find it. Signed in a uh, white paint pen. This is pretty cool. I would love to have this. Love to have this. 16 by 20. Big one. Singletary. And he signs it. Samurai Mike. That was his. You know, he's signed. We've seen inscriptions from him before. Minister of Defense. I'd never seen that. I'm a lifelong Bears fan. But that's... He was Samurai Mike. Look at that. Go. NFL Defensive Player of the Year uh, in, in 85, the year the uh, the season the Bears won the Super Bowl. Just seems appropriate to have a little uh, dirt on his jersey. All right. Yeah, yeah, you can't have a clean jersey. Right. Sean Norman, you're right. You're the famous Ram of Ernie. Cannot, cannot win with him. Cannot play with him. That is a great sound bite. That, that, whole, that, that whole clip. You know that one, right? Yeah. Everyone kind of knows that was that single Terry. But he had the rant about Vernon Davis. Nestor, there you go, man. Single Terry.
Soft Beauty. And it comes um, on the other side there with a, uh, a Beckett COA. There we go. Beckett COA with the single tier. And he wants the entry. Thanks, Esther. And the entry. Uh, who's the entry again? Did I, uh... Oh, it was Dak. Dak, yeah. Dak. Thank you, Nestor. Samurai Mike. Samurai Mike. There you go. We had old. There you go. Uh, Jordan Nestor got a old Miss Patrick Willis. Speaking of great uh, 49 Speaking of the uh, 49ers. Let's do the Flag Day Mixer number two. Yep. Flag Day Mixer number two. I've got uh, three in the room. I got uh, 10, 13, and 14 on the boxes. Let's, uh, let's do the randomizer here. Anthony calling out box. 13. Thank you, Anthony. Another 13. I think 13 is the consensus here. 11 and 12. There I'm, we go. I think everyone wants to see your... Uh... Well, the one I started to come. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. 13 it is. All right, let me grab it. Let me grab 13. It's light. It's a light box. Yeah, there's my, there's my first cut tape mark. <laughs> Another, it's another piece of paper inside. And, uh, oh, got another Singletary. Another Singletary rep helmet. Oh, this is fun, too. Congratulations. You have won a 16 by 20 sign photo of Ricky Williams. The uh, Now this, here we go. Ricky Williams, more of a dolphin? Or... Let me check. And actually, this photo... Hold on, because this will determine it. Because this photo, let me get it. I think this is with him and the Saints. Hold everything. Let me grab it. No, it is Ricky Williams on the Dolphins. Okay. So it's the Dolphins hit. Yep. AFC East. Uh, does not have the uh, Smoke Weed Every Day inscription on it, but it is pretty cool. There's the great Ricky Williams. So Dolphins hit is uh, AFC East. Uh, that would be Nick Perrine. There you go, Nick. There you go, Nick. Nick Perrine with the uh, Ricky Williams uh, big photo, 16 by 20 of the Dolphins. Uh, that's cool. Dolphins. AFC East. There's Nick on uh, my screen. Have you ever heard that uh, sound bite, uh, the Ricky Williams smoke weed every day? I don't know if it's actually Ricky Williams. It's just a, I think it's a song. Yes. Smoke weed every day. Yes. They play that on Sports Talk Radio here in Chicago a lot. Because it's funny. Yeah, it's a song. Who sings it? Do you know? Um, I think it's uh, Snoop. Is it? That's that Snoop? Who does that? You don't have to look at it. I, I was just... You know me, I talk... Talk out loud sometimes and... Yeah, it's Snoop. It is Snoop Dogg. Smoke weed every day. Snoop Doggy Dog. I did not know that. Bang. Uh, Nick, it comes with a uh, JSA COA. You see there? Nick Prime, nice hit, man. Ricky. I don't know the Primes are uh, Colts fans. And then... I got this sheet that comes in all these boxes. This is just if um, you're purchasing at retail. Nick, uh, you want to go with the uh, Singletary... Or the um, the chance to win the signatory helmet, or um, ten bucks UA cash, Nick.
<laughs> yeah, Edron James, man. He, uh, oh, I wish we had some Edron James memorabilia. Got to fix my. Uh, there we go. Nick, uh, single Terry drawing or the uh, ten bucks? I got you, Nestor. He wants the spot. Nick, you want the spot? Yep. You got it, Nick, for the Singletary. You get that down. All right, guys, thanks for filling out that break mixer number two. Let's do uh, Flag Day jersey. Did we get another uh, personal in there? Yeah, we for can Nestor? wait. We can wait, though. We'll, uh, we'll get to that in a little bit. Nestor, thank you, man. Let's do Flag Day jersey number one. Flag Day jerseys. I've got uh, 6, 7, 8, and 11 in the room. On the box numbers. Matt, we might have to turn up the fan a little bit. I think that's as high as it goes. Is, I think I turned it down, didn't I? I turned it back up. Oh, you did turn it back yeah. up. Are you feeling the... Uh, if we get it, if we get the fan close enough to Matt, his hair will like, do the... Like the guy on the boat uh, look. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Eleven. That works for me. I think that's first one in. Eleven on the box. Nine, ten, eleven. Twelve. There we go. Oh, let's do it again. Yeah, Nick, it's a, it's a long story. We do. We do need one air, Nick. But it's okay to sweat a little because I can, uh, I may lose like three pounds in the show. What do you think? What three do you think, pounds. Matt? Three. Three pounds. I'm going for three. That's a lot of, that's a lot of weight to lose <laughs> in one show. We got to be here five hours, six hours. Then I might get the three pounds. We got box 11 here. Dave, is that you? The box, uh, the box. Thank you, brother. Got Dave Anthony's got a pair of spots. Angelo's got three. Micah Gregory's got a pair of spots here. Uh, 11 on the box for the uh, jersey. 11. I got a. There we go. A little better. 11. Good luck, everyone. Box 11, flag day. Flag day. It's, oh, it's a Kyler Murray uh, entry. I'm assuming that's going to, uh, there. Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray's name on the flag with the Beckett COA for this uh, jersey. There's the Beckett COA. We have... Oh, we were talking about Eric Moulds earlier. This is the other guy who's really good for the Buffalo Bills at wide receiver. This is the Hall of Famer, Andre Reid. Buffalo Bills hit AFC East. It is Angelo Anzano. Angelo, way to go. Andre Reid. This was Jim Kelly's guy. Threw a lot of footballs to Andre Reid, Jim Kelly did. There you go. Bills hit AFC East there for uh, Angelo. And Angelo, uh, let us know. I'm assuming, Angelo, you're going to want to be entered into the uh, drawing for um, the Kyler Murray Authentic Helmet. Uh, if not, we can uh, we will credit your account when this series is over, the Flag Day, uh, with, with 10 bucks in uh, UA cash. Angelo, let us know. In the chat, if you could, please. Andre Reed, nice. Are you in the chat, Angelo?
And again, if we don't hear from you, we will uh, enter you in the um, in the in the helmet spot. Angela, I'm just going to assume, unless you tell me otherwise, you want the uh, the, the Kyler Murray entry. Nice hit there, Andre Reed. Hey, London, are you still in the chat? How about, uh, should we do Flag Day jersey the double, or should we do the personal for... Uh... Uh, get through that jersey, and then I'd say go. All right, we'll do the, the jersey. This is a double box break here. John, here you go, man. John Norman. We'll do the double jersey box, and then we'll do Nestor's uh, personal. There, there's London in the uh, chat. Did you get my message about the, uh, the Cincinnati Bengal helmet? We do have a, uh, a Cincinnati Bengal Ken Anderson helmet um, in our Dutch auction, if you would be interested for your father-in-law. I know you said your father-in-law was a, is a Bengals fan, so. Um. Yeah, we have Kenny Anderson uh, Dutch auction item. It's a little banged up. Looks like it's game worn, game used. Just let us know if you're interested. We had it for uh, 60. Yep. We have it for 60 bucks. It's not posted. If you're interested, Matt will throw it up there for you. No, we. I, it would be available uh, London to purchase. Um, let me show it to you real quick here. Yep. The randomizer. Oh yeah. Let me, let me randomize this first, then because I, I I have that up on the screen, and then I'll, I'll show this to you, London. Just bear. Uh, give me a couple. A few seconds here to get to 12 on the randomizer. <laughs> 10, 11, and 12. There's our list. All right, London, if you're watching it, here, here's the, the Kenny Anderson helmet. It uh, The auto right here, I guess some... Uh, a helmet pad got uh, stuck to it, took off a little bit of the auto. Kind of hard to see that on the screen. But that's why we uh, we just can't sell that retail at a retail price. It retails for, what did it say, 110 Yeah. I think it was 110 it retailed for. We had dropped it to 60 this afternoon. But Kenny Anderson, uh, 1981 MVP, 16 seasons with the Bengals, the great quarterback. Not in the Hall of Fame, one of those guys who's like just below Hall of Fame level. A lot of people would say probably in your uh, your father-in-law's time. Oh, for sure. So right. Just uh, let us know, London, if you're interested in that. Yeah, if, if you want to make us an offer. Yeah, we can negotiate. We can tell you what we can. Uh, there's a price, obviously, we can't go below. But uh, again, we had it for sixty, which was about fifty bucks off the uh, the retail price. How about a box number here? If you're in this break here, I only have three boxes in the room on the jersey. If the, uh, the flag, they got 10, 13, and 14. Anybody? 10, 13, and 14 on the box numbers for the uh, flag day mix. This is a double box break. You have two shots to win here, as you guys are, who are in this break, I'm sure would know. Anybody? Sure. Anthony calls out 13. That's one. Where's Sean Norman? Sean, your, where are you, man? It's your idea. Sean, you might want to call him anybody who's in this break. Let me grab 13 on the jersey. 13 and one more. And 10, beautiful. 13 and 10. What do you want to do for our next jersey? Was that the flag day we doing? Yeah, flag day jersey. I think my flag day jerseys are messed up. Do I have the wrong numbers? Here are the boxes I have in the room. Hold on. Yeah, no, I got I got six, seven, and eight. 
Yeah, the flag, the flag day jersey, not the. Um, I'm not sure what numbers you're looking at there, guys. This is the, this is the uh, the jersey. So the flag, oh, six and eight. There we go. There's six, seven. We won't do. So do seven and eight. Thank you, Anthony. So six and eight. Uh, six and eight. Yeah, let me put seven over over here. Six and eight on the flag day, which will leave us just. Uh, set. I got more in the back. I'll just have to grab them. All right, thank you guys. Six. We'll do six first. Put uh, eight right over here, and then we will do. Uh, we'll go in numerical order here. We'll go six on the jersey. Good luck, everyone. Here, double box break. This is a, uh, well, these the little flags are sticking to all the paper here. It's a little yellow flag, construction flag. That says Kyler Murray. So the Kyler Murray Authentic. I'm guessing whoever wins this will want to be entered into that break to win that. In the meantime, we have, we have a JSA COA. And then... The jersey is Deshaun Hamilton. Bronco. Did he just get released, I think, by the Broncos? Regardless, it's a Broncos hit here. Deshaun Hamilton. Wider here. I believe he just tore up his knee pretty bad. Broncos hit here. So that's a AFC West. That's going to be uh, Anthony's uh, jersey. Anthony, that's yours. Deshaun Hamilton. <laughs> Oh, that, I, thought, I thought that was Anthony. No, I don't want it. Thank you. Um, that was uh, London. Uh, no problem, London. We figured we'd throw it out there for you. Anthony's going with the, uh, I figured, with the uh, Kyler Murray authentic helmet break there as for the entry. <laughs> Deshaw Hamilton. Part of um, last year, anyway, this uh, really deep receiving core for, for Denver. Deshaun Hamilton. little DH on that auto. I think that, is that a 1-7 or not even? He didn't even go that far with that. That's a little dh in. Anthony Garrett. Cool jersey, man. Cool, cool Broncos jersey. Haven't had a, we've done a Broncos hit in a while? I don't think so. Alright, one more to go in this double. Sean Hamilton. Hold on. Got to box it all back up. So Kyler Murray. For Anthony, let me pull out the info. In the chat, um, anyone down for a flag day rep uh, or mixer? Like a double Jordan, you thinking? Yeah, the mixers are popular. They're flying. You can do a double. Want to do a double on the mixer? Who's up for that? The mixers are fun. Anyone want to do a fla uh, flag day mixer? Anyone who want to do a flag day mixer? I can make get, the, the mixers could be. Um, I can make this an active. Pretty much uh, anything but a, a platinum helmet in the mixer. It's a, it's a full size. It could be a full size. Could be a mini. Could be a jersey. Could be a photo. Could be a pylon. Um, yeah. Box eight of fifty here. Yeah, no problem, Jordan. I just made it a draft. So if we want to make it a double, we can do that. Let us know. This is the, uh, the <laughs> Let a flag, Donovan McNabb rep. You can read that. Donovan McNabb rep. For the drawing for this. Well, let's see who we have. We got a, uh, it's a JSA COA. That you don't need. 
Oh, this is nice. How about the reigning defensive player of the year, three-time winner of this award, the great Aaron Donald. Rams, baby. Rams, NFC West is all oh, our buddy. It's Nestor Rodriguez. Congratulations, Nestor Rodriguez. Nestor, you just won an Aaron. This is a cool Rams jersey. Nestor Rodriguez, 99. Jersey number 99, the great Aaron Donald. Again, Nestor's not only been winning, but winning just tons of uh, big time uh, hits. I mean, fire, bangers, whatever word you want to call it. That's nice. Aaron Donald. That's like a big AD, the auto. Yeah. Nestor, um, you want to be in the uh, McNabb? I'm sure he does. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming. Oh, seven, three, eight. Aaron Donald. Nice pool indeed, right, Perry? I got you, Joe. Nestor, congrats. I'm going to put you in the McNabb drawing. I'm just going to assume that. And again, if we don't hear from you, that's what we do. We put you in the drawing. You got it there? You got it. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, where's McNabb? Yeah, Nestor, this would be your second McNabb uh, entry for the night. Again, you could if you keep winning. You just could be piling up to really increase your odds of uh, winning when we have that drawing uh, when this series is over. So probably in a couple weeks, maybe, not even. Yeah. Not even. Uh, that was the Jersey Double. Let's do his personal round. We, uh, well, let's do that, Matty. I agree. Uh, so, Nestor, now, so now we're going to do your personal on the mixture. you got box 19. Uh, i got to go in the back. I'm assuming, uh, hopefully I have it, Flag Day Mixer box 19. Let me grab 19 on the mixer. Can give a quick little rundown here of what we got available. We got a flag day, flag day jersey number four is a double box break. There's eight spots remaining there. Uh, live break number four for the mixer. Still a single box break, uh, eight spots remaining there. Living Legends number two, it's our final box. There are four spots remaining there. Living Legends number two, final box. Four spots remaining there. Live break number two for the full side, or uh, Flag Day Authentic series. Eight spots remaining there. Live break number two for the Flag Day reps. Eight spots remaining there. Live break number two for Day Dimes, eight spots. Uh, live break number two for Past and Present, seven spots. Starting lineup, seven spots. Thank you, Matt. Yep. We got 19. That's what this is for you. The mixer, 19. Got a piece of paper in here. Nestor, guess what? You're really increasing your odds of winning this Donovan McNabb uh, rep. <laughs> That's another McNabb. It's five guys who we have potential hits here. Um, Prescott and Murray Authentics, and then Singletary, Gore, and McNabb replica helmets. Nestor, this time on your personal, congratulations. You've won an autograph pylon signed by uh, Steve Grogan. There you go. Go, Steve. <laughs> Who wrote that? I think that's Davey. <laughs> Matt's going to grab it here. Steve Grogan, the uh, former Patriots quarterback. There you go. Pylons are dope. Comes with a... Uh, PSA COA Nestor. So Steve Grogan, here you go. There's the auto. Good auto. Grogan played kind of when I was growing up. Uh, he played in the seventies, little bit of the eighties. I can tell you, he was a he was the backup quarterback on the Patriots team that lost to the uh, Bears in Super Bowl twenty. Uh, Tony Eason, uh, the former U of I quarterback, was the starter. Grogan got at the end of his career was the. Uh, the 
the backup QB at the end of his career there. But uh, Grogan was a guy who was, uh, I want to say he was like 6'3 or 6'4. He was a pretty good um, thrower and a, a runner of the football as well. And I think I have a Steve Grogan football card. I'm going to yeah. pull that one up just for fun because it's fun to look at. Uh, might have to do that. Nestor, I don't even want a ton of stuff. Have you won a pylon yet? <laughs> He's like, that's the only thing I don't have, maybe. Maybe. I just like writing the word pylon. It's just fun. It's just fun. Maybe you uh, can give him a card, too. I'm gonna, Nestor, I'm throwing, uh, you got to humor me. I apologize to everyone if I bore people with this. I just do it kind of selfishly because it's just fun for me. I think Matt likes it. Yeah. Let me throw you a good Grogan card. Here's Steve Grogan. No mustache? Uh, I think he's got a little mustache. Does he? Almost okay. got a little hockey mustache. Very now cool. Kind of mine. tough to see on this card. This is um, 1978 top Steve Grogan card. Steve Grogan, yeah, 6'4". 205 played at K State. Uh, this was after uh, Steve is Kansas State's uh, third leading all time passer. Of course, this is 1978 we're talking, but that's pretty cool. Steve Grogan, quarterback, Patriots. There you go, Nestor. That's what five guys do when they make a tackle. <laughs> but I'm Bob. Bob, I love you, man. Bob gets it. Bob gets the silly humor. I just love that. Bob, thank you, brother. <laughs> that is good. That is good, baby. Tony, you didn't get a card? Which card? Wh who are you looking for? Did you get a Grogan? Did you win a Grogan something? Or was that earlier tonight? No, we didn't do a Grogan. What, Tony, what uh, What didn't I send you? What did he win? He won or what did you win, Tony? He was a... Uh, he was in Flag Day Mixer number one. Do you remember what that was? Was that the other... Did we do another pylon? We did another pylon. We did a Clinton Portis. Is that what you're referring to? Nestor, my, my dad was a fan of him even if I can't stand the Patriots. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Perfect. Sounds like another Father's Day gift. Nestor, that's a cool one. And uh, he'll be in the McNabb drawing again here, right? I think I already filled that part up. Tony, do you remember what you won, man? You, I think it might have been the... Uh, was it the uh, Clinton Portis pylon? It was an NFC East hit. So yeah, that, that's probably Clinton Portis, right? Uh, yeah, I don't have a Clinton Portis card. Yeah. Probably doesn't have a card for Clinton Portis. Yeah, so Joe, I collected cards. Very good. Um, yeah, I collected cards growing up in the 70s, a little bit of the 80s. Every now and then I'd buy a... I, again, I did it back then. I saw a great um, tweet the other day. It was a... Someone tweeted... A guy who does... Um, I think it's my 70s... It's a real good Twitter follow. I should know it for you. But uh, he showed... Let me see if I can find it. It was a Hank Aaron baseball card from 1970-something. And it was it was wrinkled. And I, I, I'm like, i got to share this with people to chat on the old cards. Because I know a lot of guys collect. And you know, maybe you collect cards now or, or did uh, back in the day. And this tweet was fantastic. Let me, let me find this for you real quick. Here it is. I don't know if you can see that on my phone. There, there's the uh, picture. Uh, yeah, you really can't see that, can you? Well, the phone. Hold on. There you go. So this is uh, this was like Super Seventies Sports is the Twitter follow. It says there's something beautiful about a well-worn baseball card. Some kid really enjoyed this 1972 Hank Aaron. It won't ever be professionally graded because this what I put. This is what I love. It won't ever be professionally graded, but that's because it, because it already filled its purpose. Isn't that beautifully said? That is. That is. I'm a long-time writer, and I could never have uh, um, captured that any better, and I'm jealous because that's beautifully said. It already served its... Like, a card is wrinkled, right? It really has no value. You're not going to get that graded. So what? 
I'll give you some. Some kid really enjoyed the heck out of that Hank Aaron. I didn't enjoy the Steve Grogan as much because I was a Bears fan, uh, but but that's the point of it. That gave you some goosebumps. I was like, I'm like, gosh, that's that's what it's about, right? Not every card has to be graded or see be sold for a profit. Look at Bob says, I have a '66 Hank Aaron. I drew a mustache and glasses on it. <laughs> You know what? Because that's what you did. What a, you he, did. He's, he's calling himself a dope. I know. <laughs> but, you know, that's... <laughs> you true. did silly. My brother and I, I would put on the back... A lot of my cards are ruined because on the back... Because my brother always thought I was stealing his cards. So when I got my cards, I would put Joe... I would write Joe on the back so he knew not to take my card. And he would write Paul on the back of his cards. So, like, I'm sure we, like, ruined a bunch of, like, you know, <laughs> fantastic rookie cards back then, but... That's what you did. You didn't think about, like, you know. 30 years from now. 30, yeah, 50 years from now, I might get some money off that, maybe. <laughs> that's that's got to be a bad feeling, Bob. You're 66 Hank Aaron. You got a mustache. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Yes, Bob, I was one of the guys. Matt, you ever hear that story? What, what guys used to do with their cards? They'd put it on, you'd, you'd take uh, clothes pins and put them on your spokes of your bicycle. And then when you rode the bicycle, you hear the, the flap sound. It sounded really cool. There's another thing kids did. Bobby told you, yeah, you're, you're spot on with that. Well, look at that. Is that, uh, is that London? They have a top, you have a Topps Kobe. Yeah, you don't want to put that Kobe Bryant rookie card uh, in the spokes of your bicycle tires. That would not be recommended. But yeah, yeah, that's what you did. Uh, uh, ask your dad, Matt. Okay. You put the cards in the spokes of your tires. Bob, spot on. And then when you rode the bike, you hear that flapping sound of the cards. It wouldn't slow you down at all. I'd just be... I might have to do that tomorrow. <laughs> I got like nine Paul Russells from uh, 1975 baseball cards. I'm not kidding. Nine. Nine Paul Russells. So just take the guy you like, you like the least. Take the guy the least. Right? <laughs> That's it. If we didn't know any better, we just had fun, right? Do we do Bob's per Bob purchase a personal here? I want to make sure he has a personal because he didn't check the... Uh, oh, Bob, do you uh, do you want us to open that live? Yeah, Bob, let us know in the chat if you wanted that. We didn't know that you can open that. Um, we can have that sent to your home, and then you just you know you open the box yourself and find out you know the surprise there who you who you got, or we can do it right here on on the stream. So the, the Matt said you purchased a personal here. Did you want that opened on screen during the chat now during the show, or just have it sent to you and then you open it? Uh, a little doodle bug in the uh, break. Open it up. Gotcha. Bob, give us a box number on the jersey. We've got. Um, we can get. You can pick any number, Bob. Yeah, I've got the. Um, the only jersey I have is seven, but I got a lot more. The, the boxes go up to fifty. So if you have a, you want to call a particular number, up to 50, above seven, uh, I can see if we have that box number in the back. So let us know, Bob. Doodlebug, love that name in the uh, chat. Hey guys, want to know? I check if I won last night. I was in a live break number three, Flag Day Authentic. What's the uh, order number for you? Doodlebug, let us know the uh, order number. We could uh, check on it. We do have seven, Bob, on the uh, the jersey. I think I got seven right here in the room. I think that's the one box I have. Is that what you want, yeah. Bob? Is that that's the number you want? You John, John Elway box. Seven. Doodlebug, thanks. Uh, Maddie, Maddie's checking on that. This is box seven. Bob, this is your personal. Thank you for uh, purchasing it. Let's do it. Let's see what you got here. Box seven. If we do more jerseys tonight. We got plenty more. I just have to put more box numbers on the screen. Bob, let's see what we got for you. And we got, uh, let's see what we have on the flag. This this didn't work out too well. Nikki, come back. Um, it, this tape, the tape is sticking to the yellow construction flag. It is, I don't know if you can even read that. It's, it's the Kyler Murray authentic, Bob. So you'll be entered into the Kyler Murray I'm assuming you want that, uh, and not the uh, ten bucks. I don't want to assume. I shouldn't assume. Six, 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 six. 
Uh, yeah, for the break. Gotcha. Got Kyler Murray. Yeah, you don't need that. Come to the uh, jersey. Come to the JSA COA. And we have free. We have, we have Warren Moon. Warren, I don't, is this? Oh, there goes. Look, I grabbed the whole darn mouse pad. Hold on. Don't show. Don't tell Donnie I did that. There we go. This is Warren Moon. Now this. This is cool. This is Warren Moon on his Edmonton Eskimos jersey. I have not seen this before. And I, you know me and my colors. Is this brown, Matt, or is this green? That is green. It, it is green. Green, is that a gold Gold numerals? Yeah. This is pretty cool. Well, Ooh. I've not seen Ooh. that. I Me mean, neither. Warren Moon with the Hall of Fame inscription. Think oh, Bob. This is really cool. It is cool. I've never seen any CFL. I have not yeah, either. Say a custom Edmonton Eskimos. What a great name, by the way, right? Uh, really cool. Edmonton Eskimos. There it is. Warren Moon, who played for like everybody, but what a great career. Started his career in the uh, Canadian Football League. Is that? That's a first for me here. Bob, I love that. I just love that. Wow. We gotta get some Jeff Garcia like uh, memorabilia, CFL memorabilia. Wouldn't that be cool? We have a lot of Garcia stuff. I don't think we got anything Garcia like. Uh, I think you played with the Toronto Argonauts, Garcia. I think so. Yeah. Bob, hope you dig that. That's that's really cool. How about that? Oh, Flutie too in the CFL. That'd be cool. Uh, Michael Smith, also known as Doodlebug. It looks like you did win last night. He did. You did. You, uh... You know what he won? I want to say it's a uh, Fred Taylor helmet. I want to say that's what it is. Um, it's a... All we have is Taylor helmet, so... Um, I'm assuming We it's... might be able... No, because that did not get shipped out yet, because Steve, that, that, that was last from last night, show. Yeah. We would have to check maybe after the show to confirm what it was you won. I'm pretty sure it was But you were, Matt was working last night. Not I'm that you remember every order, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't it wasn't Lawrence Taylor. It wasn't I think Oh, it was, does it say Taylor? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was Fred Taylor. Fred Taylor, the uh the former Jags great. Oh, there you go, Jordan. All right, uh, that would that be neat? You see where he's going with that? People get that in the chat with Jordan? Antonio yep. Gates college basketball jersey. Yep. That would be awesome. Gates played, uh, people probably know the story. I know Jordan does, obviously, here. Played at uh, Kent State. I think they went to the Sweet 16 in the NCAA tournament. And then Gates went undrafted. He had an offer, I think, from maybe Michigan to play college basketball, or college football, rather, out of high school. Didn't and then bounced around. I think he went to a JUCO first, and then of course, uh, you know, Chargers signed as an undrafted free agent. Goes on to have, um, you know, what's going to be end up being a, a Hall of Fame uh, journey. Definitely. Bob, congrats again. That that is the Warren Moon Edmonton Eskimos jersey on the uh, on the personal. Love that. Yeah, that threw me at first. I want so green and gold. Yeah. Nice. It's kind of like a wood green, like a. Like yeah, it's a not a Packer green. green. Right. And again, me, I am legitimately red, green, colorblind. Blues and purples throw me. Um, so I'm I'm glad Matt and Garrett who do the show with me and Dave they they know their colors. Otherwise, they're like Joe. Why do you say he has a green jersey when it's brown, or vice versa? Now let's do Flag Day Mixer 3. Do I have uh, just one box in the room? I got uh, double check on the mixers, the box numbers. The mixers, I've got, I've got 10 and 14. 10 and 14 on the mixers. Yeah, we did 13. All right, let's randomize that list. 
<laughs> Tony, I learned how to fold jerseys by watching you. I learned from Donnie. And that the first time I folded that, that moon jersey right now, like, that's not good. I got to do that again. Nah, I, I couldn't do that to Bob. <laughs> yeah, I remember the first week I worked here, man. I worked on the first time I had to do it on camera. I'm like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a wreck. Uh, that was just not good at all. Our Super Bowl champs win the Lombardi Trophy. What does the see? Um, yeah, what do the? Uh, it's the Great Cup, isn't it? The Great Cup. G R E Y. G R E Y. Yeah. Right. The Great Cup. Yep. Bob probably knew that. He's probably asking a trivia question there. Yep. Great Cup. We're randomizing twelve times tonight. And there we go. Twelve. This is the uh, Flag Day Mixer number three. How about a box here? I just have two in the room. I got 10 and 14. We got Perry. Martin Perry's got a pair of spots here. Perry with a pair. Perry with a pair of spots. Uh, I always forget. Is it Jared or Garrett? It's Jared. It is Jared. Like the J sound. Yeah. Jared. Thank you, Jared. Has two spots here. Michael Suggett. What's up, Michael? Brandon. Chris Barletto. Chris was uh, uh, in the earlier breaks today. I think he won. I know he won. And then Mike, uh, Michael Osaka's got a pair of spots here. Uh, Perry calls on 14, Ernie Banks. Thank you, Perry. Let's do it 14. 14 on the mixer. Box 14. Paul Canerco. Paul Canerco. There you go. White Sox guy. Maddie. Of course, 14, Paulie Canerco. You were just telling me that he got traded. Yes, for uh, Mike Cameron way back in the day. And then Mike Cameron's son, is it Daz or Dez? Yeah, Daz, I think. Daz, love that. Uh, homered off Liam Hendricks in the ninth last night. Two-run shot? To tie the game. To yeah. tie the game, and then the White Sox won in extras, right? Yeah. 14 of 50 on the mixer. Yeah, great Mike Cameron. And then Mike Cameron tweeted something about it. Like, oh, and he gets my team clutch moment. So proud of his kid. It was really neat. Really neat. But, yeah, the Mike Cameron for uh, for Paul Kernerko trade. Box 14, this will be a, um, listen, for the Frank Gore replica helmet break. Frank Gore. So we got, uh, we got a bag. Got a bag. Halloween bag. Bob said that earlier. I like that idea. This is, oh, this is a good one. This is the great Josh Allen, the young QB of the Bills, the other Buffalo Bills. We've had a lot of Bills hits tonight. Yeah. AFC East is Michael Suggett. What's up, Michael? One of the best young QBs in the game, especially yeah. after this monster year he had uh, in 2020. Yeah. Allen, like 4,500 yards, I believe. He was he was good last year, 19. But this past season, wow. Uh, comes with a uh, JSA COA there, you see? Josh Allen. Good auto, too, for a young guy. Big auto. You, you look at that auto and you think, well, Josh Allen must have played in the 70s. Nope. <laughs> Josh Allen, sweet, for Michael. Michael, let us what, uh, know what you want to do as far as uh, we can either enter you, enter you in the Frank Gore helmet, break uh, the spot, chance to win a Frank Gore um, replica helmet, or we could uh, give you 10 bucks in UA cash. You're welcome, Michael. Thank you, man. That's sweet. Yeah, Michael, you want to go on the uh, the break for the Frank Gore helmet or um, ten bucks? I don't think we've had anyone say give me the ten bucks. Everyone's going for the uh, the helmet breaks. Yeah. Sweet man. Entry. There you go. Thank you, Michael. You got it. Talk about the folding, and then it's kind of comes unravel as I uh, do. Uh, Put this one back in the bag. 
And by the way, if um, you guys probably know this, I know a lot of you are collectors anyway. But if you are, I just read this recently or saw a YouTube video. If you're not going to get it, uh, the jersey, if you're not going to get it framed right away, uh, keep it in the bag. These uh, uh, transparent bags, these, uh, you know, these big baggies, it'll help protect the uh, auto. So like, don't put them in a closet, uh, like on a hanger. Uh, keep it in the keep it in the bag until you. Yeah, I'm assuming most people will get them framed, and whether it's immediately or in time, right? Right. Uh, so, Michael, yeah, I'll get the the Frank Gore. Let me get that uh, your number down there. Six oh seven. All right, that was the uh, the mixer number three. Another jersey double. Yeah, I gotta get some jerseys. Yeah, not mine. I am not, I am out. Or do I have seven? No, we or do we do we do seven? I feel like you had seven somewhere. Where do you put seven? It? I thought I put it on the. Uh, where did we do it? We did, did not do it, I don't think. I gotta go get some more uh, jersey boxes. We still have the John Hanna. No one's bought the Hanna jersey, right? For no. The Hanna jersey, the Hanna helmet. What'd you do with it? What did I do with seven? I'll make you some more jerseys from the back. Hold on a minute. Yeah, the. Uh, Living Legends is gonna be next. Not sure what he did with the uh, the jersey. If anybody wants to throw a price out for that John Hanna helmet, we uh, can negotiate with you guys. It's a cool auto. Not a whole lot wrong with it. Patriots. It's Flag Day weekend. If anyone wants to throw a number out in the chat. We would definitely be willing to negotiate with you. Oh yeah, was it was Warren Moon the uh, number seven? Oh, that was it. Okay. Yes, sure. from uh, from Bob. So I brought twelve through fifteen in on the jersey. Okay. Twelve through fifteen. Let me put that on the screen. 12, 13, 14. All right, that's the, uh, those are the, this is the double box break. 12, 13, 14, and 15 are the boxes I have. Yeah, thanks, Jordan. You, yeah, you guys are right. Got a pretty busy show here tonight, Matt. We have. So we're almost at the two hour mark. Kind of a slow, the Saturdays are typically a little slower shows. People are outside celebrating Flag Day weekend. Flag Day weekend, that's what we're all about. Oh, you can't see that because I have the randomizer up on the screen. Can't see my flag. Good try, though. I'll do it again. 13 and 12. 12. Oh, speaking of 12, there's the list. You haven't been complaining about it as much tonight. I'm not complaining. I'm trying not to complain about the 12. Yeah. It's a lot. I just need a cold drink after I get to 12. 12. Made it. You, you down those three pounds yet? Flag day weekend. I think I, I think I probably shed about a pound and uh, seven ounces. I'm going to stop on this, hop on the scale. Flag day weekend. <laughs> Flag day is Monday. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, an official holiday in Pennsylvania. None other state. No other state. Except Pennsylvania. Yeah, anyway. Gotta dig it. PA, baby. 13 and 12. Thank you, boys. 13 and 12. 13 and 12. Or 12 and 13. We'll go numerical. We'll do 12. Double box break here. Two chances to win. Good luck. They got Jared, Brandon, London, Dave, Michael, Donovan. And Dave Harris. What's up, guys? 12 out of 50. It's going to be 
be doing jerseys again. We haven't done jerseys, uh, like, really a lot of them lately. This, gosh. See, the tape, the tape, we, we're learning as we go. This is for the Mike Singletary replica helmet break. Samurai Mike. Cannot play with him. Cannot win with him. Back at COA. Love Samurai. This, you don't have to worry about. We have, oh, we have a bear. A former Bear linebacker, speaking of Singletary. How about Lance Briggs? Lance Briggs. We did. We love Lance Briggs here in Chicago. That's Michael Sugga. Michael, this is win number two for you tonight. Yeah. Lance Briggs, baby. Little loose thread. It's in all good. Lance Briggs. Lance Briggs, who was in our studios, but yeah, he was pre-COVID. He was here. Uh, I know Donnie was here when Lance Briggs was here. And uh, everyone loved uh, Lance Briggs. Real good dude. Kind of gets... I like it when players get it that fans love being around them and talking to them. Instead of just like, these people bore me and I don't know you and blah, blah, blah. Let me sign and get out of here. It's not Lance Briggs. Some guys can be like that. Right. But Briggs was really cool with, with, with everyone. Nice hit here. Briggs... But I came back. Yeah, Sean, kind of right. Cause Sean, yeah, I don't. Sean, I was just mentioning to someone the other day. Like we hadn't seen Sean Norman in the chat uh, in a while. Let's say I've just missed you, Sean. And then, uh, bang, there you are. But yeah, we used to do well, especially during the NFL season. Like when I started here almost six months ago, we were like doing. I mean, we would do at least six, seven jerseys it seemed like every night. And then kind of like we weren't doing a lot of jerseys. Thread, loose thread. Um, so that one again. That's uh, for Michael. Michael, um, let us know. You want to be in the uh, Mike Singletary um, break to win the uh, Singletary uh, replica helmet. Michael Suggett. Lance Briggs. Um, man, you think he gets into the hall someday? Hard to say. Yeah, not saying next year or anything like that. Maybe down the road. Maybe. I mean, he wouldn't have been as great without Erlacher, but Erlacher, who's in the hall, wouldn't have been as great without Lance Briggs. And that, that's that's just fact. Right. That's just fact. You're welcome. Michael, you want us to put you in the uh, Singletary uh, break helmet, the chance for the Singletary? Get that word out. Six oh seven. We did a lot. Of, we had a lot of uh, Singletary uh, flags tonight. Michael, congrats! Yeah, entry. You got it. We got it. Thank you, man. I just. I don't want to assume. All right, that was uh, first box in this double box break. You bet. Thirteen. This is thirteen. Lucky thirteen. Lucky thirteen for somebody. This is, this is the, uh, the the Dak. Look at it, ripping up the box. Uh, this is for the Dak. The Dak Prescott authentic helmet break. Lots of tape all over the studio. No Singletary. So this is uh, comes with a JSA COA. Don't worry about that. And this is uh, Jamal Lewis on a uh, Ravens custom jersey. The great uh, Jamal Lewis, Ravens. Ravens hit here is uh, AFC North. AFC North is Brandon Hostler. What's up, Brandon? There you go. I'll unfold this jersey in a second. Or Jamal Lewis. He was good. He was a tough dude. Jamal Lewis. Nice auto. Big, that's a big JL right there, man. 31. Jamal Lewis on this uh, Panthers. Yeah, I think he's the all-time leader in Ravens. Rushing leader in Ravens history. I uh, think you were right on that, right? 
I love that. Uh, this is purple. Right? First win. There you go. There you go. Brandon, congrats, man. Jamal Lewis was a uh, heck of a player. He was for a while. Yeah, is he the, is he the Ravens all-time leader? That would sound right. He, he is, yeah. He is. Yes, he is. Good job, Matt. Yeah, glad you like that. Speaking of the Ravens, why didn't why didn't they all get Julio Jones? Can we have Ravens fans out there? I thought that would have been perfect. I thought he would have been perfect for that. Yeah. Instead, he goes to uh, Titans. I mean, who, who wouldn't want Julio Jones on your football team? Even though he's obviously uh, slowed down a little bit. But I'd still take him all day, right? Definitely. Nice going, Brandon. Jamal Lewis did, Sean? Yeah. Is he with the Browns a little bit? Brandon, do you want us to enter you into that uh, the break, or do you want ten dollars in UA cash? Yeah, it's, it's uh, Brandon. Yeah, the, the, so this would be for the uh, we can enter you into the uh, Dak Prescott authentic helmet break, or we could uh, give you ten bucks in UA cash. UA cash you didn't spend. There you go. How, however, entry. There you go for the Dak. Yeah, I don't blame you on that. Dak Prescott. That's only our second one uh, tonight for the uh, the Dak. Flags. Nice hit there to, for you and Michael. Michael with the Michael hit. Michael Suggett got Michael signature. He did. That I just, just, I just, just caught that. Hey Bob, what hole do you think Julio's on? Julio's in the back nine, but still has some juice. I, yeah, right. Well said. What hole do you think he's on? I think Julio Jones is probably on uh, 14. 14 Bob hole. says 11. 11? That's pretty... Mm -hmm. I, was, yeah, I was thinking like 13, maybe yeah. like 13 fairway. Yeah, 13 right. 13 green, 14 T maybe. Got like 150 in, a nine iron, a soft nine. Matt, what, what do you hit from 150? 150? What do you hit? Well, it depends on the wind. But True. No wind... Pin in the middle. I could probably hit like what a... What do you hit? Probably like a... Either an eight or a nine. Yeah, me too. Me too. Jersey. Now Bob, we got... Um, Bob hits a six. Wow. Six, that's all right. One of my best friends from high school, we just played like two weeks ago, and he's a better golfer than me. We are three clubs different. Three clubs. So he still clubs. beats me. He's the same age? Yes. And he's just like, I've gotten older. I've slowed down. But, like, I'm still dumb when it comes to golf. Like, I swing really hard. Like, try to swing hard. And sometimes I just miss. You know, like, I just I fly it somewhere. But he's more like a strategic, knows his limits, can hit a six iron as well. He can hit a nine iron, you know. So, those are the good golfers. Yeah. Living what? Legends. That's our final box in Living Legends, right? Yeah. Bang, guys, thanks for, for filling that out. So I would love it if the Canadians... I mean, that no one has the Canadians winning the Cup, but that would be fantastic for hockey. They're not going to win. They're probably not, but it would be cool. NHL is funny. It is funny. That's true. About it. it is funny. They always say it's the toughest trophy to win, and you and I are... So, uh, Matt and I are hockey guys, but I'm telling you, it is. It is. Very it is. So. I mean, there are never any e this 16 wins you need. Yep. There are never any easy wins, ever, in the playoffs. Yep. No, ever. No, no, not even close. Right? Yeah, and sometimes you get that. Look at Jordan Bennington two years ago. Right? I mean, he, started, he was playing in the American Hockey League at the start of the season. Right. He was backing up Jake Allen, I believe. And then, bang, he takes over. No one had at the beginning of that year the, the Blues winning the cup with Jordan Bennington. Like, what? No. What are you smoking? Smoke weed every day. <laughs> right? Yeah, it makes you appreciate, Matty, our Blackhawks winning three cups in six years. Absolutely. It's just amazing. 
10, 11, <sighs> made it 12. Well, Living Legends. No, no need to call out a box number because uh, we are finishing off this series. So let me grab the uh, final box in Living Legends. Final one is box 37. Box 37. Guys, thank you so much. Good luck. Here we got Ricky, Micah. Danny Cash, what's going on? The first time I've seen Danny in the breaks tonight, unless I missed one earlier. Dave, Jordan, Michael, and Jose Alcala. They were Sean, I agree. We love Taser here in Chicago. We, we need him back. Yeah. We really miss. Hope he's help us. Health is good. That was a mystery in Chicago. Everyone asked, what was wrong with John and Taser? What's the word? No one knows. No one knows. But um, he's still early 30s. He still has a lot of good hockey out of him, assuming he's healthy. Living Legends final box in this series. I think it's a replica. It's a replica helmet here. Let me show you the. Uh, it's a JSA COA. This is a fun one. This is a fun one. This is a Philadelphia Eagles hit. This is Mr. Invincible himself, Vince Papali. How about this fun one? We know the movie. Is it Mark Wahlberg, right, who played him? Yeah. In the movie Invincible, there's the inscription. Vince Papali, the wide receiver, Eagles hit, NFC East. That one's going out to uh, Micah Gregory. Micah, this is cool, man. We always had a uh, Vince Papali mini as far, far as our uh, Dutch auction. We might be having that coming up soon. But um, this, this is really neat. It's a really good movie. Uh, based on the true story of Vince Papali, who was basically, I mean, he was just basically a, a blue-collar worker in, in Philly. There was a tryout, all NFL teams, I think they'll still do this. Well, they, I don't know if they really do it anymore. At open tryouts, Eagles were bad, but they were ringing in Dick Vermeil as head coach. And uh, Papali just tries out, he was the best like street football player in the neighborhood, and he made the team as a special teamer. I think he played like maybe three or four seasons with the Eagles. Uh, yeah, this is a good, again, this is not only a, is a great piece if you're an Eagles fan or a football fan, but if you collect any kind of movie memorabilia, well, bang, you got to you gotta have this. Micah, this is really nice, man. Would love to have this. Final box in this Living Legends. You Rep know. helmet speed. That's a throwback Eagles helmet, too, by the way, if you didn't uh, catch that. He's obviously still living the dream if he signed helmets, though. Right? Right? And look, look, look at the auto, Maddie. See? Some guys, some young guys, this is Papali. He gets it. Papali gets it. You can yell out Dave. He can just write, he can just scribble a VP or something. No. It's an auto. You can yell at Davey. You don't have to yell at me. No, I'm not yelling at you. I, yeah, man, when I say young guys, you know I'm not talking to you. You know that. I want to be a young guy. Let's, huh? see, let's see the Vince, but let's, let's see your uh, autograph, man. Everything's look kind of like a, look like a doctor's. He kind of looked like a Deshaun Hamilton. And Dave will tell you that. Dave's like, Joe, you're not going to be happy. <laughs> Mike, uh, I dig that. Papali. That's another one. I just like to want to leave that one out all night. Yeah, old school penmanship. Great, and I love that White Eagles helmet. You got a favorite sports movie? Oh boy, I, we really have to be depending on what move or what sport, because we kind of had this conversation the other night. I think Gary was in the room with me Wednesday night. Because you could go, boy, where do you like? Where do you start? Right, start with any Rocky movie. Well, don't don't tell that to Garrett because he uh, he hasn't seen Rocky. he hasn't seen Rocky. I think he said he saw Rocky too. Now we're talking football. We had this good conversation in the chat that there's so many good ones. I think Daniel was telling me I got I got to rent the the program which Garrett has, has seen. Have you seen that? The program. 
I had not heard of that, but I, I remember Danny. For football? For football. So you're telling me he's seen the program, but he hasn't seen Rocky. He has, he's seen the program, but he hasn't seen Rocky. Now, Gert's a young guy. Matt's like, no excuse. Rudy's good. Uh, I would go. I love the original Longest Yard. You've seen the. Have you seen the original? That one gotta see. Seen. Gotta see the original with Burt Reynolds, All Star cast, Eddie Albert. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. All those. Look at Bob. I, I love the, the Bad News Bears. Awesome. Haven't seen that in the new Clemson movie. Living Legends. We just did. Ooh, doing another, do another mixer. Do I have one mixer in the room? I have one box. Let's do the mix of the one I have in the room. I'll grab that, guys. Thanks for filling out this uh, mixer number four. Do you have a favorite sports movie? or? Uh, it's hard to... I can't p pick one. It's too hard to pick just one. I feel like my favorite sports movie is uh, Feel the Dreams. Feel the Dreams. Winner. Winner all day. I also love, um, I love A League of Their Own. Really? Yes. That's interesting. Yeah. It's fantastic. And the, uh, yeah, I mentioned this the other night, the, uh, I, this used to be my playground, that song by Madonna, when they played that at the end. You've seen A League of Their Own, right? Mm-hmm. Always makes me cry a little bit. Get a little over clout. It's touching. It's beautiful. Twelve times. There we go. There's a list. <laughs> and then any football fan loves Bryant's song, I mean, not just Bears fans. Talk about making you cry. Yes, that my is very goodness. True. Let's see what I got. What, what box do I have in the mixer? Let me grab it. We got a lot of boxes in the room. A lot of open boxes. Nice to see that. I got one mixer in the room. One mixer box. A lot more in the back if we do more breaks tonight. But this is uh, this is 10. 10 of 50, the Frank Tarkenton box. Is there a really good number 10 in the NFL right now? Like, the best 10? Trubisky. Don't say Mitchell. If that's what we got, we're in trouble. But if you Google, like, best guys in the NFL, we're number 10, you don't get a lot of, you're not a, not a big list. Tarkington is one of them. But, like, currently, who's a good 10 in national football? This is box 10. Ooh, Singletary ref. Mike Singletary. So this is for the uh, whoever wins this goes. Uh, can be entered into the uh, the helmet break for the Singletary ref helmet, or they give you 10 bucks anyway, cash. Mixer, we got a helmet. If I can open the, the bag here. Is Herbert 10? Gosh, I should have known that. And Hopkins is 10. Is that right? How do I not know that? This is a JSA COA. This is, uh, this is really cool here. NFC East. This is a Cowboy ship. Uh, this is for Ryan Murray. This is um, a dual side. Look at this Cowboy. I want to say, boys, let me know in the chat if I'm wrong. Is this an amp helmet? Or that maybe not. Yeah, is. This is an amp, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. This is an amp Cowboys replica helmet dual signed by the uh, Hall of Fame defensive stars of those 70s Cowboys teams. God bless you, Matt. Thanks. Bob Lilly, the great Bob Lilly, and the great cornerback Mel Renfro. How about that? Another God bless you, Matt. Sneezing up a storm here. Uh, Cowboys said, this is really nice. Another hat trick. <laughs> Ryan Murray with this uh, Cowboy sit here, love this. We've seen a couple of these uh, dual signed Renfro Lilies. Um, these, these are really neat. Ronnie in the chat. This is fantastic looking the helmet here. Love it. There's Renfro. And there's the Lily. Who would not dig this? 
And we, Ryan, you got it. We'll add you to uh, the hit for the uh, the Singletary. Another one here. For the, a lot of Singletary ones. Awesome. Name the winning Super Bowl QBs for the New York teams. Well, you go with name it. Then you go Eli twice. Yeah. Right? Hmm. From Phil Sims one. Well, oh, Phil Sims. Good, Matt. Are we missing anybody, right? Eli twice, Sims. The Joe Jets, Namath. The Jets only won once. The Jets only won once. So I think that's a good question. Bob, did we get it right? Good point, Sean, in the chat. Like that. I don't. But the Jets have only won one Super Bowl. The Giants. What did the Giants won? Um, are we missing a Giants QB here? It's gotta be. Who is this? Yeah, yeah, Phil Sims. Eli twice. Right? Yeah. Yeah, Eli won two. Is there a third? Uh, unless you're saying it's going to be uh, Zach Wilson someday. We are doing a, another double on the uh, Flag Bay jersey. We are filling them up tonight. We're doing a lot of boxes, Maddie. I got two more uh, jerseys in the room here. So we did we did two more. Let me grab the two jerseys I have. Oh, did, did they win it with Jeff Hosteller? You're right. That's right. Now yeah, we're running out of room. We are indeed. Yeah, they were correct. They won it with Jeff Hosteller. Or did they did they win that year with Hot Seller? I don't know. I forgot about that one. Let's do these two boxes on the jerseys after I randomized. 14 and 15. Let's do this list here. Sean's in this break. Oh, Sims was hurt. Well, Sims won one. Because didn't Sims go like 22 for 22 or some crazy number? He was hurt for one of them. So they won two with those teams. Sounds like it, yep. Is that uh, what it was? That's a great question. Yeah, Jeff Hosteller. Matt, you'd like him because he had a good stash. Did he? Uh, Google uh, Jeff Hosteller images. 11, 12. Well, Belichick won two with the Giants as coordinator. Yes, yes. Yeah, like yeah so that must have been, right? Those teams with Sims and then Hostetler. Look at that thing. That's a nasty mustache. You see it? Yeah. That was a big stash, right, Jeff Hostetler? Still got it, dude. Does he? Yeah. Box uh, 14. We'll do these. The, the uh, last two I had in the room. I got more. If we do more jersey breaks. Well, we're after rolls. That's two and a half hours, Maddie. 14 of 50. Good luck, guys. Yes, yes. Wow, that's a great one. There's another uh, DAC entry. DAC Prescott authentic uh, entry here. With the back at COA with this uh, jersey. There's the back at COA. Toss that. We have, oh, fire, baby. Someone just said 10, Justin Herbert. There it is. How about that, Justin Herbert jersey? How about that, Chargers AFC West? That's Ryan Murray. Ang, ang, hat trick for Ryan Murray tonight. And this is fire. We're talking about Josh Allen, 
How about we got the young QBs tonight in the, in the room? The, the memorabilia. Justin Herbert. How about that, baby? That's awesome. Wow. Brian Murray killing it tonight. How about that? That's a, that's a headliner. That's a headliner. Is it? Got to be right in the uh, jersey. It is. Yep. All day with that. Ryan, not only three wins, I think they've all been fantastic hits. I think they've all been fantastic hits. There you go, Ryan. Yeah, this is for the uh, it's for the DAC, right? I think I said. Yeah, and the and the entry to the DAC Prescott for Ryan Murray. This would be um, fair to say one of the more coveted autographs of current players. Definitely. In the in the National Football League, Justin Herbert, right? You, you got you know, like, yeah, it's always the QBs, right? With Mahomes and 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 Rodgers and you know obviously Brady, even Drew Brees, even though he just retired. But uh, right, if you were doing a draft of like which autograph of a current player do you want, um, Herbert's going top ten in the autograph, right? You're doing a little. Current players, you're picking first. You probably you got to pick Brady, right, or Mahomes, and then you probably maybe go Aaron Rod. I don't know. It'd be kind of fun. Yeah, it would be. We got a fun little autograph of current current NFL players. Justin Herbert, nice Chargers, and that white. All right, this is the double. So this is 15, 15 to 15. Do this one. This, the flag thing really didn't work out too well. It's just sticking everywhere. <laughs> it's the uh, Frank Gore rep for the Frank Gore replica helmet. <laughs> Live and learn. Back at COA. Well, this is a former Packer. This is going to Nestor NFC North hit. This is uh, the former fullback John Kuhn. Very popular um, with the uh, when he was a Packer. John Kuhn. Remember this guy, Matt? At all? Remember oh, him? Oh yeah, definitely. Fullback, tough yeah, dude. Definitely. Tough dude, right there at the, at the top of the three signs. It. Nice. That's for Nestor. John Kuhn, you got it, man. Nestor, you've been quiet. We had he had not won for at least twenty-two minutes. I think it's been <laughs> since he had a win. <laughs> it's like those old factories that like it's been this many days since we've had an accident <laughs> right we got that one of those for Nestor <laughs> Nestor you know what Nestor is also doing here he's also accumulating a lot of spots he is in these helmet Frank Gore this is for the Frank Gore one I'm assuming he's, he's going to want to be in on that probably he's a San Francisco 49er guy right? absolutely right he wants the drawing. There you go. Thank you, Nestor. John Coon. Nestor, we got Packers fans out there. Real popular Packer. Have you seen John Coon? I haven't seen him yet. Have you? In person, you mean? No, in the in the room. Oh, uh, I want to say yes. And I couldn't tell you, though, if it was on um, a helmet or a, or a jersey. Okay. Is this the first time you've seen the John Coon? Yeah, I've not seen him. Yeah. I knew we had some of his memorabilia. Not a ton. I think we've acquired it maybe recently. And then I think he was actually in that teammates jersey series we did. Because he was with who was it? Because I think he finished his career, played one year with the Saints, maybe. Oh really, yeah, yeah. Uh and it was like one of those, oh, they were teammates? Uh, I didn't know that kind of thing. So Nestor goes into the Frank Gore. We have done a ton of boxes tonight. I'm so happy to report that. That was, uh, well, this is a double. Yeah, so that's right. We just did that one. Uh, 
We did do two boxes here. Okay. Was the uh, live break number four on the uh, the jersey? And are we caught up? We are. We are finally caught up. It's uh, we're at the 10 1027 Central Standard Time here. Hope everyone's having a good night. Really pr uh, appreciate everyone's participation tonight. There's a room. We need a bigger room. We do. Need a bigger boat. Get, gonna need a bigger boat. Gonna need a bigger room. You guys keep supporting us like this. We're gonna need a bigger room. Yeah, we, uh, I think the tomorrow and maybe into next week here, the uh, the room might look a little different. We are um, always looking to uh, to tweak things or give us a fresh look. We might try to, the room here is it, in large. That's why we always have to run across to the side, grab more boxes, can't have them all in the same room. Um, not to bore you with all that stuff, but um, but it gets pretty... Uh, pretty cozy in here after a while and yeah. we've opened a lot of boxes so uh we might be moving the desks around maybe uh open the room a little bit yeah i'm kind of limited i know uh tomorrow i don't know if it's going to be i'm sure it'll be on one of the shows but uh i know tomorrow they're planning on moving the uh the room out a little bit and next week for sure it'll be it'll look a little different so my wife is really good at that, like rearranging the furniture in her house yeah. My mother used to do the same thing, so my wife would be like, hope you don't mind I move the couch and the TV again. I'm like, no, I love it. My mother, my late mother, used to do that a lot, too. It always feels like like we have a new room in the house. Like, wow, the room looks so different now because she moved the couch from there to there and moved this table from there to there. And I'd say, I would have, like, uh, there are two ways this couch will fit, and that's it. My wife has, like, six. Like, every year the Christmas tree, find a different place for it in the house. It's like amazing. It's like going on vacation. You get like a different view of everything. Yeah, I know. It's great. It's like sightseeing. I'm going to bring her here. I'm going to bring her to the, to, to the UA frat house. I'm sure you want to do that. Uh, she would not like it. If, we, if she's going to come here, we got to tell her about your folding skills. Oh, I better not bring her. <laughs> <laughs> Who folds all these jerseys? Donnie. Donnie. <laughs> Guys, it's been a fun night. Matt, uh, do we have anything close? I don't think we do. Um, so really got fun hits tonight. I know it stinks when you don't. I always feel bad for the people who don't win. I, mean, I love, you know, because I always feel like we we uh, do a break. Assuming there are eight different people in the in the uh, break, it's like one guy won or one you know one person won. But then we had seven people who didn't win. So I feel bad for. Uh, I feel bad when you lose. Appreciate your participation. It's always fun. Hope you have as much. Maybe not as much fun as us when we get to see stuff because we have nothing financially invested uh, or vested. But um, it's fun to see some of the cool, like the Justin Herbert jersey there, some of the cool stuff we've pulled tonight. Uh, it's always fun. Do you want to uh, talk about this John Hanna one last time? Yes, Matt, thanks for bringing that up. Last, last call here on the John Hanna. We should have showed this earlier. Matt, what do we have this price at right now? I lowered it to... Uh... 285. That's 285. 285. Yep. This is an authentic helmet. A Hall of Fame player. Uh, John Hanna. This is an authentic helmet. Uh, Riddell Speed. The only blemish on it. I mean, and it's, I'm telling you, I wouldn't lie. It's minor. And you can see it right there. Right. It's not even really a scratch. I don't know what kind of line that is. It's not bumpy or, you know, it's not like a scratch, a gouge or anything. But there's a little black mark. It's noticeable enough where we were deciding we can't put that uh, in, a, in a mystery box or sell it retail. But John Hanna, Hall of Fame, left guard. Mel Gray was the guy who played the left tackle spot next to him. It was, I think it was Mel Gray. I could be wrong on that. Uh, but John Hanna, great auto. He was in the studios here uh, about three weeks ago with the number 73 right in the J. Great hit. Sean Norman, Patriots man. Uh, Hall of Fame, Class of 91, NFL 100. I know, I think it was the sporting news when Hannah retired after Super Bowl 20, you know, the 85 season, named him the second best offensive lineman ever. I think first was Anthony Munoz, the uh, the, the great uh, former Bengal. Yeah. Uh, but Hannah was considered, and Hannah was a guy who wasn't the biggest dude, like height wise, but he was guard, but he would just maul people. Uh, sure. But what a what a fantastic player! 
It's a really sweet piece. Love the auto. Uh, love that 73 in the J there. Is that cool? Love guys when I love when guys have fun like that. But again, just that blemish. This retails at 370. We have it down to almost 100 bucks off that. Yeah. Or more. You, uh, would you say 265? 285. 285. Sorry, 285. 285. If you want this helmet, we'll leave it up there for a little uh, another little while before we close the show. Um, go to the U UA Live breaks page. It's up there. You can get it for 285. I I don't even know why this is a Dutch auction. I don't, honestly, I don't think that's bad. Sometimes we get something that's like, yeah, it's you know, really noticeable. Just me, but I, I don't think it's bad. And when you show that off, you're just seeing it. I'm seeing that, right? I think that's fantastic. If that were a bear, Matt would be like, hmm, what, they, what, what can they get it? What can they get it for? If that was Jimbo Cover. Oh, bears, right? Yeah. Yeah, all over it. John Hamm, let us know. If anyone wants to throw a number out in the chat, we can negotiate. Yeah, if you're interested, but you're thinking, eh, I don't know. Um, if you want to throw a number at it, again, we, we have a number. We can't share that with you. That we can't go below. Otherwise, uh, Matt and I, this will be our last show. We'll be fired. Um, but let it, let us know in the chat. I think we're probably going to give it our last call here. Yeah. Uh, it slowed down a bit. It's been a busy night here. Lots, lots of cleanup afterward. Got to hire the cleanup crew to bring them in to help us with all the boxes. Who is Herman Boone? Herman Boone. I do not know that name. I have a mini seven. Who? Uh, who was Herman Boone? Did we? Did you Google it, Bob? I gotta say, I don't know who that is. I'll give you one final update. See if we're close on anything. Can I always do a person? We've done what five personals tonight? Maybe six. Six. A lot of personals tonight. We've got, well, I'm showing everything is pretty much has like seven or eight spots left. Oh. Oh. Was he the head coach? Denzel Washington. Was that her, uh, Denzel's character? I think so. Ah. Uh. So you have the actual guy. Wow. That's, uh, that's crazy. That's cool. Yeah, we are pretty uh, pretty wide open here. I mean, there's there's nothing really close unless someone wants to surprise us. We've had that happen before. Yeah. Where it's like, wait, there, there were six spots left 30 seconds ago. What happened? Bang, sold out. Someone bought all six spots. But it's been a fun night. Again, this um, this Flag Day extravaganza, 200 boxes. We, we uh, took a good chunk out of them tonight. We did a ton of these uh, boxes with the the full size, the rep, uh, full size reps, the, the Athonics, the jerseys, and the mixer. Some fun mixer items pulled out. The pylons, the photos, pulled a little bit of everything out of that we mixer tonight. So, guys, it's been a uh, real fun night. And uh, what do you say, Maddie? No, no one on the uh, John Anna? I don't think so. And if it doesn't sell, you know, we have a little, we do a little rotation business here, so we'll Maybe put that out uh, again. Uh, I'm not saying next week or tomorrow or anything like that, but uh, maybe soon. But uh, platinums again, a mystery box. Uh, mystery box platinum for us is is 400 bucks. Yep. So we got this out of 285, and it's it's not a it's not a backup wide receiver. It, it's a Hall of Famer. Right. And a Patriots helmet. Bob, good night. Thank you, Bob. Always fun. Love, love uh, your comments in the chat. Really appreciate your positive energy and good trivia uh, and your sense of humor. Have a good one, Bob. We'll see you soon. Bob, yeah, we'll see you soon here, man. Guys, thank you so much. I think that's it, Matt. Yeah. Uh, good two and a half hours plus tonight. Uh, fun Saturday night. Yep, I think uh, uh, you and I are off tomorrow. We are. The, uh, the, boys, the boys are back in town tomorrow. Donnie and Gare Bear. Yep. For their uh, 2 p.m. and 8 p.m. Central Standard Time shows. More flags. Flag Day weekend. Woohoo! And then me and Garibar are back on Flag Day. Yes! 
Monday. If, if we were in Pennsylvania, you'd have the day off. Pennsylvania. That makes me feel so good. You could move there for a day. Come back. I said that earlier. Come back. I'd consider it. Flag day. Flag day. i got to return this to my wife. She'll kill me if I forget it here at the office. Really? My wife's got like 80 of these. Can I have it for flag day on Monday? She'll, she'll leave it here for you. I'm going to leave it here for you, Matt. Okay. you got to have it. It's flag day. Flag day. I'm not, and I, I joke, but seriously, we, it, it is a holiday that's an underrated. I don't know why we had this promotion, honestly, but it's cool that we do because, I mean, it's the day we adopted the Stars and Stripes. I mean, long, 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 long time ago. You know, a year after they signed the, uh, the Declaration of Independence. But we, no one talks about Flag Day. No. Um, so it's kind of fun. We've had some fun with it. Still are having fun with it. And. Um, I told my wife, I go, I gotta bring in something like flag, like American, not yellow construction flags. Um, these kind of flags. So, there you go. Guys, have a good rest of your weekend here. Happy Sunday to you. Happy Flag Day Monday. Matt's working. Yep. But he's with Gare Bear. So, bang, you know, time will fly. Yes, it will. Uh, Gare Bear and Donnie Rollins tomorrow uh, in the UA studios. Thank you so much. Wow, a ton of, ton of cleanup. We, we really appreciate it. Uh, busy night here. Busier yeah. than I had ever thought. Coming off the matinee was kind of slow. Yeah, and uh, pre-show we didn't have a whole lot filled either. Right. I think we had like one series, and, yeah. a, and uh, Matthew Short had two personals. Right. So. We're like, whoa, might be might be slow, but you guys delivered as you always do. Yeah. So, Matt, uh, thank you, brother. Yeah, of course, Joe. Is uh, always a pleasure. Back at cool. you. See you on Tuesday. See this guy Tuesday. We'll see you here tomorrow at UA. Tomorrow, doubleheader. Uh, as always, uh, 2 p.m., 8 p.m. with Donnie and Garrett. For Matt, I'm Joe. Thanks again, everyone. Have a good rest of your night. Peace out.